islands in the shape of a cross. Four point in each cardinal direction around a larger central island to form Ente Isla, the islands protected by the gods. All who lived in Ente Isla knew of Satan, ruler of demons. His very name was synonymous with the terror and cruelty that ruled his demon realm, as well as the creatures of the night that thrived in its depravity. Satan was an ambitious ruler. He sought to crush the humans and their world, thereby creating a land of peace and prosperity for all night's creatures. Four trusted generals served the devil, Edramalech, Lucifer, Alciel, and Malakoda. These four great demons launched merciless attacks on the four continents. Who 
Kufrol Ros or Efuliga. Hey, kids, <coughs> excuse me a sec. Mind if we talk to you? Fuch Ros, Gisoreo de Greli, Masamum. Archup Shibor Aitri team? Oh, looks like we got a couple of foreigners. Well, that should make this a good story. Do you understand the words I'm saying right now? Clisp? Segeros Greek is the longest. He has so much at the Fusoliga or Ruch Ilisik LCL. Otros Efu Liga Rit Boss. Epsko Sneak Sophix Ro. Ed Clash Redipu. You think they'd be hot, huh? Dressed up like that. I believe they're cosplaying, sir. It's weird, though. We don't get much of their kind in this neighborhood. <sighs> this is Sasaki out on patrol. I've got a couple of youths with minor injuries here. Fix he sort of hope drop so viral. Through Ikengars, through Fosros Chistroms. The Fosros he thought of Cherovoy Lega Tethi. It did the bump crimes. Now, boys, would you mind joining us in the car? You're not in trouble, sir. Bump Tetu! Okras who serve a dowry equal Samum, box to Blaine's show Repsi to tears. Fight, Goose! Okay, you two. Behave yourselves. Katsudon, okay? Katsudon. Yes, that's right, yes. They coated animal flesh in some sort of grain and fried it in hot oil. Then a mangled bird embryo was placed on top, and the whole thing was heated even further in a fish broth. Look, I'm not supposed to provide food, but I can't let two injured kids go hungry. We'll just call it my treat. <laughs> Huh? Of course. Terra na hipnois steps. Alciel, Ruptine. Alciel. Satan, beat up! Hey now, son, you can't just waltz on in here! Realize. Uh. Rise. Ruptine, Chris Satan. He had charm up the clarit, bra brose type. He chat smint on pim or zaif rob si roa fix length hor fa zamum. Ik nerepia rob fix cello earth. We find ourselves in one of Earth's nations, an archipelago which they call Japan. We stand now in its capital of Tokyo, and this building is some place they call a police station. These police are evidently a state institution maintaining public order. I see, sire. And what is that substance on the table they fed me? Cat's doom. It is an extremely common food in this country. Cat's doom. Yes, that name has a powerful ring to it. This is of great interest. Incorrect. Now focus. Food is neither interesting nor important right now. In this world, we are only fantasies. These humans don't consider things like demons or even the devil to be authentic. No one believes magic legitimately exists. They do not believe in magic? How do they survive? I see. So because there is insufficient magic in this pathetic realm, we are unable to retain our demonic forms. Yes. But I never imagined stripping our magic would cause this. Our physical change makes me wonder if humans might actually be the foundation for all living creatures. Surely you jest, sire. I'm certain tis merely an effect of this world and the gate. I still retain a fraction of my magic, but tis quite an effort to stem its outward flow. How is it with you, Alcio? <laughs> Looks like it worked, sire. No. I highly doubt this carriage was conjured with magic. Alas. If I adjust the amount of magic I release, I won't run out for a fair amount of time. The undeniable problem is we currently have no way to amass more. However, if the Earth is familiar with the concept of magic, even as imaginary, we may have a chance. The path left to us now is to discover that method and regain our natural strength. Until then, we have no choice but to live in this world and obey these human rules. What a cruel reality this is. Indeed, but we might as well do what we can.
We must obtain official records at what is called a ward office. <laughs> She tells me that Japan requires residents to carry something called health insurance. Never mind her. Money is clearly of the essence in this human society, so we need to possess it somehow. I cannot afford to expend more of my magic. So that means we really only have one option left to us. And what is that, sire? <laughs> Curses did it wrong again. You idiot! Resume forms do not grow on trees, you know! Okay, my new name is Sadao Mao. And mine, Shiro Ashia. Do you find this name strange, sire? It's a little late to ask that now. We've already made both our IDs. King Satan. Yeah? Might I suggest you put a little more thought into your spending? Give me a break. I put thought in spending. Summer's around the corner, so we need a fridge. Owning a washing machine is cheaper than a laundromat in the long run. And I have to have the bike to get to work. It's not what you purchase that concerns me, sire. I just think paying in installments would have been a better choice than buying them all at once. Well, I hate loans. So... Don't so me, sire. Nag all you want, but installment plans come with interest and fees. And I ain't gonna pay for something I can't touch with my own two hands. Impeccably worded, sire. But do tell me... How are we supposed to make it to payday on milk, jelly, and... Oh, wait, we have cucumbers, too? I see your point. But calm down. It's not like we don't have any money left. I still have some cash. We'll be fine until payday. Don't forget, they give me lots of food at work, too. We're gonna die. You propose we eat burgers and fries three times a day until you get paid? What is this, supersize me? You plan to eat a high-calorie, high-cholesterol diet at such a young age? I'm looking forward to the next ten years, but now I'll have to hope you don't die prematurely of a lifestyle-related illness before we get home. I must apologize to my countess. I have your own working fighting our time. You have to load up my custom diligence and help me. Stop freaking out! I gotta go to work! Wait, sire! Lecture me later! That's not it! You forgot your umbrella! Let's roll to the hat! Yeah! And he's off. 
Guess I'll get ready too. You can take this. Please, all yours. I am... Um, okay. Well, I'm not going that far, just to the train station. I work at the McDonald's over there. Thanks. You can throw it out for all I care. Whoa, that is brisk! This week is key. Soon we will know who had the highest featured item sales in our district. I swear, I will be the one who breaks the sales record for black pepper fries! Yeah! Hello and welcome. Would you like to try a meal today, sir? Nah, just a cheeseburger and a small spark. Of course, sir. Might I also interest you in some black pepper fries? With that, it's our featured item. Nah, thanks, though. Yes, these little continuous efforts are necessary for my eventual comeback as Lord of Demons. Let me get your change. That's one chicken sandwich, one iced coffee, and one happiness meal. Will that be cash or card? Hi, ma'am. We hope you're having a great day. I'd be happy to let you use our microwave if you want. Uh, Have you brought any milk or baby food with you? I don't mind heating it up at all. Uh, you sure that's okay? Of course, my pleasure. Accommodating all of our customers' needs when we have the time gives us a long-term advantage. I was just doing my thing. You are beyond incredible! You're like a for-real grown-up! Thanks, but hardly. I'm just a part-timer. This is... I can't believe you were fired again, Ashia. You suck. I wish you'd keep calling me LCL, sire. I wish you'd get over it, but that's not important. We need to focus on finding a way home, not doing awful day labor, capiche? Right, and your point, sire? You are now in charge of finding a way to get our magic back. I'll work and get money. You do research. Magic's at least a concept here, so if we trace that alleged fantasy back to its source, well, maybe we'll be able to find something that's helpful. Do you believe there's a chance we can recover our powers? I'm hoping so. I mean, why stop at just Inte Isla? Why not rule this world, too? I like this plan so much better, don't you? Yes, sire! I do! It's Mal. <laughs> As you wish, sire. Mal, I, LCL, vow to discover the path to your supremacy. You will rule all worlds! Thank you, LCL. Now rise. You're embarrassing me. Yet still, we got nothing. Guess what? I totally got a raise today! I don't trust that new guy. He's too good for my own good. You're excited to be the lowest person on the fast food totem pole, sire! If the devil is considered nothing more than an underling, what does that make me? Oh, oh how can I judge? I can't even do research properly. Oh. With only books to go on, all I can do is speculate. So it is. Hey, Chi. Yeah? Everyone makes mistakes. But it's the sixth time I've dropped fries on the floor this month. I'm the klutziest person in the world. Yeah, I guess you do drop them every other day. All I do is clean up after myself while everyone else waits on customers. At this rate, potatoes will start sprouting from the floor. <laughs> hey, I know you guys are on break, but I need a quick minute. I'm not that scary, Chi. Is everything okay, manager? Would you please call me Miss Kisaki? It's getting crowded out there. When your breaks are over, I want you both at 100%. This is when the fight for number one gets real. So bring it. Oh, and Chi, sweetie, try not to plant too many potatoes, okay? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. One big Another meal large order of black pepper, pepper fries, fries please. It. Will that be cash or card? Can I take your order? Fries and your phone number. Yeah, not in the menu, sorry. If we keep this up, we'll do it. We can be number one in the district. <laughs> They're not cooked all the way. Don't tell me the fryer's broken. Why did it have to be?
to be the Black Pepper, Friar! Okay, now, focus. But now, if I don't do something, being number one is the least of our problems. <sighs> Should I use magic? It is kind of an emergency. Make sure you save your magic only for extreme emergencies, sire. What's wrong? <laughs> Life has failed. It's not your fault, Mr. Mal. Everything's fine. The guys fixing the fryer will be done by tonight. Yo, yo, Ma, you got a sec? Sure. What's going on? Is she gonna blame me for us not getting number one? Surely not. It's not like I broke the lousy thing. Maybe she's suspicious because I was about to use magic. Thanks for waiting. At ease, kid, it's not bad. In fact, I'm gonna make your day. I was just waiting to get final approval from our district office. Oh, for what? For your promotion. Sadao so Mao, as of today, you are A-level staff. <gasps> restaurant after our conversation oh you did really i'm sorry i didn't see you next time just say something and i'll come say hi i watched you all day from the bookstore across the street you look so different i thought for a second i must be wrong but then i saw you start to cast a spell a spell what wait who are you Game chest X X wave. Don't flush it much. Golos X. Omelian X and Osjord. Wolf is the X X who checks on X and Z. Your trolls tell raw Robin Sutzor. We clip clip. We clip breeze. Sword, a devil without magic working fast food is not an adversary I need to worry about. 
Majesty sure is late. Now tell me why you two were fighting in the middle of the street. Because I must destroy him. Destroy him? Look, lady, I don't know what your boyfriend did, and it doesn't really matter. No knife fighting. You can't do that. What? Did you say boyfriend? Betty thinks we're dating, and I cheated or dumped you. I am not in a romantic relationship with this freak! I get you. If you've decided you would like to end things with him, though, you need to be more mature about it. I'm cutting you some slack today, so get lost. Huh? But this will be the last time. And by the way, I know where you live. I'm confident tonight will be the last good night's sleep you'll ever have. Not nice. Doesn't really sound like the kind of thing a hero should say. I didn't ask for the opinion of a part-time devil. Yeah, okay, whatever. Give me back my umbrella, discount store hero. You told me I could throw it away, remember? I took it carefully apart and put it in the trash. Rude! <laughs> I'm a hero. I can't just leave the devil's umbrella lying around for an innocent to discover. Uh, you were such a pain. That's right. Starting tomorrow, you should watch your back. <laughs> She sure doesn't seem all that heroic to me. Yes, sir, we can do that. I do apologize, ma'am. So which calling plan sounds best? Right. Again, my name is Miss Yusa, and thank you so much for allowing me to assist you. Jeez, I've had like five million complaints today. At least try cracking open a manual for once, am I right? Oh, hey, so you want to grab lunch at that curry place that just opened? Uh... Don't you think it'll still be too crowded? I guess we could just go the Mickey R's route if you're worried about time. No, anything but that. Sorry. Gross. Another one. Here we go. Back to it. Thank, Thank you for calling the Doko Demo Customer Service Center. Center. How may I help you today? Shabby. 
Maybe it's tiny and it's got paper thin walls. Okay, now you're just being mean. The Devil's Castle prioritizes functionality over comfort. Oh, really? This is what you call functional? Quite the royal feast you got there. Hey, Oshio's an amazing cook. He whips up meals out of practically nothing. It's like magic. I am truly honored by your kind praise, sire. Many thanks. Word. Are you both idiots? The Prince of Lies is really dining on jelly and cucumbers. What's your problem? We're poor. For real? Did I travel all the way from another world just to kill this disaster? It's pathetic. I mean, even I found a better way to live than this, and I live all by myself. Your comrades aren't here? No! Hey. Shut up! Oh. I'm all alone here. One of the high priests was supposed to come, too. Our plan was to go back home as soon as we destroyed you in this world. But then Olba was... He was too slow. Olba, Ikrimu! X-ray Fox! He's an Ifra! to make it through. That sucks. Thanks, but the last thing I need is a demon's pity. Tis rather amusing. You're like a search party that requires its own search party. <laughs> well, now that that's settled, you should find yourself a way home. You know where we live, but it's not like we're gonna move away and hide. We can't afford to. I'll just have to begin my new attempt at a world conquest from this current Devil's Castle. This from someone who can't even get a full-time job? If you think I plan to live a peaceful part-timer's life, you are dead wrong. I've got goals. One of which is to subjugate this world. <laughs> For your information, hero, McRonald sometimes lets her part-timers go full-time. <laughs> Hear me, Amelia. I shall become a regular employee in this world and thus accumulate wealth and social status. I will become so powerful all manner of humans will kneel before me. Then I will invade into Isla once more. That's ludicrous. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I'm sure a mere human like you has no way of understanding my lofty aims. I suspect she understands all too well, sire. Wow, somehow I just don't care. Huh. Goodbye, I'm going home now. I have work tomorrow. But don't get the wrong idea. If I use my remaining power, I can kill you anytime I want. Really? Then what are you waiting for? If I use it all up on you, I won't be able to go home to Inte Isla. As long as you behave, I'll let you live until I figure a way out of here. Oh, and in this world, my name is Emmy Yusa. Try not to forget it. What's with calling yourself Sadao, anyway? Nobody in this generation has that name. You need to apologize to all the Sadaos for that crack! Hey, Emmy, you've been, like, really stressed lately, haven't you? Want to grab dinner and talk about it? Mmm, actually, I can't. I have something to do tonight. Do you have a date and you didn't tell me about it? No, it's not like that at all! There is no way the devil is living like a freaking pauper just because. I can't let him out of my sight. Oh, come on, man! Why do I have to go? I cannot do this alone, sire. The task requires your powers as well. We must hurry or we'll be too late. Jeez, it'll be fine. We got tons of time. This is war, sire. Steal yourself. Where are they headed at this time of day? Let's get back in line again. We can each buy another card in that way. No, that's against the rules. Oh. Emmy. How about grabbing dinner tonight? Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, I've got some errands I have to run. Ashia, I'm leaving you behind. I'm not waiting any longer. It's time for that bath. Please, sire, wait for me. I just a need bath? to close the door. As in a blood bath? Sweet, made it in time. <sighs> Wish they'd keep this place open 24 hours. You know what? When I conquer this world, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure bathhouses never close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to come out with me tonight. Yeah. Um... You can't be busy again. Yeah, I know I suck. 
You are totally putting mistress before sisters. No, I told you it's not like that. Sire, please don't. How can you not be curious about this demonic experiment? Demonic? More like insipid. Huh? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh. oh, it's just like you said. You gotta at least try this. It tastes like melon. I mean, a little. Melon my foot. A cucumber Maybe a I should just go home. Honey on it or not. Now you listen to me, sire. Only those with leeway in their budgets can afford to take such risks with their food. Oh, come on. Can you not find any leeway in your heart? I do not appreciate your snarky retorts at all. If you're craving melon enough to want to mix cucumbers and honey together, you're better off just buying a melon. Seriously. What are we looking at? An earthquake. Don't try to distract me! Sheesh, calm down. And don't you sheesh me! Sheesh you, King Satan! <laughs> sheesh. Welcome! May I have a moment? Are you ready to order some food, miss? I need to speak with you outside. To go order, then. As soon as you get off work, meet me at the intersection where we first met. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Would you like to make that a meal? Come alone or else. Okay, we can do that. Just the burger this time. Can I get one Big Mig, please? To go! I don't plan on fighting you either. So don't chicken out. Great. Thanks a bunch. Step to the side, please. Your food will be right out. Such a pain. That customer was kind of weird, wasn't she? Sure was. Takes all kinds, as they say. Looked like you two were talking about something. Do you know her? I guess you could say we have a bit of history. Ah, I knew she smelled fishy! How come? First of all, she was sort of pretty, wasn't she? Did you think she was pretty, huh? I don't understand why you're yelling at me. What's this all about? It's not like you're my... Welcome to McDonald's. I can take your order whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, I'm heading out for the day, Mr. Mal. Hmm? Night, Chi. Be careful. Bye. I'll be back in tomorrow. Oh, by the way. Yeah? Were you all right in yesterday's earthquake? Earthquake? Oh, yeah. I guess there was one. For some reason, my roommate didn't feel it. Your who did what? My who did what what? You didn't tell me you had a roommate. Let's stick with the earthquake. Oh, right. Must have hit my place super hard. When I got home from school, all my books and CDs were on the floor. It was such a mess. What? I didn't realize it was that big. I barely felt it. Weird. That's what everyone at school said, too, so I guess it was just randomly focused on where I live, then. Mr. Mal, I almost forgot! But what? Remember that time you told me you have a roommate? I do. Might this, um, might this roommate be of the girlfriend roommate persuasion by any chance at all? No, it's not a girlfriend. I'm broke, so I live with an old servant. I mean, old friend of mine. <gasps> Oh, that's totally fine, then. <laughs> Thank goodness. For what? So, what do you want to talk about? I want the answer to an important question. The truth. Would you prefer to stay in this world forever? What? No, of course I wouldn't. Jeez, where did that even come from? I've watched your behavior and attitude at work, not to mention your crap home over the last several days. So now you're stalking me? You haven't done anything evil, and you're living a simple, serious life. Your manager and your co-workers all trust you implicitly, and you deal with customers confidently and kindly. You're the perfect McRonald's employee. That's not a compliment, is it? I was ready to write off what you said, about trying to conquer this world for yourself. But now I'm starting to think there was some truth behind those words. Because if you're willing to spend the rest of your life in this world, then I don't feel a need to defeat you just for the sake of it. Why don't you and Ashia just stay here and conquer stuff? If telling straight men to live with other straight men forever is some sort of twisted thing you've got, you need major help, lady. I think you should give up on Inte Isla. Find a new life and a new enemy here on Earth. Ha! <laughs> Not gonna happen. I told you, I'm going back to Inta Isla, and I will subjugate it. Uh, he's unbelievable. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe he's not the devil. How could you die on me right after I fought you? Geez, dramatic much? 
You know you can fix a flat for practically nothing, don't you? Are you for real? Then I'll go first thing in the morning. I think someone's shooting at us. I think you're right. Ah! Blasted right through that sign. I didn't say you could touch me. Are you seriously arguing with me right now? Not bad for a girl. Give me some credit. I'm the hero. I'll give you credit if you get off of me. Uh, that was your fault for being weak and letting me land on you. Uh. It's early enough for there to be plenty of people at the train station. How fast can you run? I bet I'm faster than you since you're used to riding a bike all the time. Race you there. Come on. Uh. I guess they're not following us out this far, huh? We should be safe now. What do you think that was about? I don't know, but it was no ordinary sniper. Those bullets were made of magical energy. Magic? So what's that mean? We're dealing with someone fairly powerful. And that someone knows who you and I really are. But who could that possibly be? A mystery sniper at the precise place a demon and a hero meet up? The logical assumption is they've got to be from Ente Isla. You see the kind of trouble you get me into? Wait! You think this is my fault? If you'd picked a safer time and place, this wouldn't have happened. So yes, I think it is your fault. Wrong! It's totally your fault for working so late! Well, we could have met in the afternoon. I have to work in the afternoon, genius! That's not really my problem, is it? Hey! I gotta work early. I'm heading home to crash. What, you're going off alone? That's the plan. You probably ought to be careful out here. See ya. <laughs> now what do you want? You planning to go on a night raid, something like that? No, nothing like that, promise. Then what's the big idea? My landlady lives in the apartment right next door to us. I'd rather avoid running into her, so no making a scene, okay? Mm. Jeez, what is it? Oh, this makes me want to puke just asking. Oh, and more importantly, it's a breach of my faith, but still... Did you come here just to try and piss me off? Um, would you? What? Um, would you let me stay the night with you when we ran? I dropped my wallet. Uh, uh, Amelia the hero! Keep your pants on. She doesn't have the energy to fight at the moment. Unacceptable! You are the king of darkness. You cannot simply party the night away with some fuchsia-haired bluesy. He got shot at earlier tonight with magical bullets. Both of us were targeted, too. No, my liege. Yes, and she dropped her wallet while we were running away. So apparently she lives too far away to walk. Guess having a bike is better than you thought, huh? I'm confused, sire. Are you saying she's spending the night with us? That's what I'm saying. Come on in, Emmy. Um, thank you for having me. You can sit wherever. And FYI, don't expect any luxuries or anything, like a bed to sleep on. No worries, I won't. What kind of disrespectful attitude is that in the face of King Satan's act of benevolence? Shut it, Ashia, or the landlady will show up. Here, Emmy, you can use this. same detergent I use. If you want a pillow, use some of those magazines. Suppose I can lend you a little money for now, too. Use it to get out of here on the first bus. Yep. Okay. His evilness graciously lends you that money from his less than meager savings. Treat it with reverence. You've made yourselves clear. I'll leave in the morning. Thanks for the loan. Good night. Yeah. I dislike this one. We should turn in, too. Right. But know that I shan't let my guard down. So none of your funny business. This is the worst. How did I end up here? You know, we were pretty miserable at first, too, remember? Yes, I... And we got through it okay because there were two of us. But Emmy doesn't have anyone. Is it just me, King Satan, or are you growing soft?
Is it good? Yes, sire, it's quite good. That's unusual. Why is there a key on the floor? I'm guessing she opened the window on her way out and locked the door from the outside, then tossed the key back in. Ah, typical hero, all exemplary in her conduct. What would you have done if you were her? Isn't it obvious? First, I would have locked the door, and then I would have taken the key with me. Typical demon. Would you have me any other way, sire? Shots were fired in the Shibuya area before dawn this morning. The area was littered with numerous bullet holes. An abandoned bicycle hit multiple times was found at the scene of the crime. Unbelievable. Police believe it's related Those to the shooting and are doing everything well, they can to track down the owner. Police are also investigating possible links between this incident and a recent string of late night muggings and storefront robberies. Although the exact nature of the connection remains unclear. Let's hop, skip, and a jump from now, here. Darling, isn't that really close to where you work? Region ...at approximately 6.20 this morning. I'm not joking or imagining things. I really think an earthquake is coming. So, if you don't mind, could I ask your advice about this in person? Uh, and send. Okay. Does tomorrow evening work? I've got the day off. And you're not on shift either, are you? Chiho, are you working today? Uh, no, I'm not, but I am real busy today, you know, with lots of other stuff. You just be safe out there. Why wouldn't I be safe? <laughs> That's my middle name. This neighborhood's not like it used to be. Yeah, I know, Mom. What is the matter with you? Um, nothing, I'm fine. Chiho. Emmy, you heard about the shooting, yeah? Wasn't that pretty close to where you live? No, I'm like three stops from there. That's crazy. Anyway, what you doing for lunch? Want to hit that curry place I told you about? Yes, there will be a line, but it is totes worth the uh, wait. Thanks, but I'm way too busy to stand in line today. Plus, I lost my wallet. What? That sucks. Yeah, and now I have to fill out a bunch of forms on my break. <laughs> Thank you for your call today. I'm Emmy Yusa. How can I help you? Yusa. Sounds to me like you're fitting in quite nicely, Emilia the Hero. May I ask who is calling? Someone who knows about the hero and the devil. And that's not all. I'm gonna do everything in my power to destroy you both. Understood, sir. I'll do
do whatever it takes to keep that from happening. I gotta admit, I didn't expect you two to join forces. That was not our company's desired result either. I guess not. Either way, King Satan will be taken out, as will Amelia the hero. It's into Isla's will. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, I'm afraid we won't have any specifics till we've had a chance to investigate the situation. The devil and the hero running away from a little gunfire? That situation? And how are you gonna investigate? A vile tone that seems to echo from the pits of darkness. He's a demon. LCL is the only reputable general still walking among us. So that would make you... nothing. If you think you can scare me with words like Inte Isla's will, you're dead wrong. I don't listen to idle threats from nobodies like you. When this is all said and done, I guarantee you'll be singing a different tune. <laughs> Takes all kinds, huh? Hey, so how about that curry place? I remembered how busy the bank is during lunch. <laughs> yeah, hello? Hello there. I'm trying to get in touch with a Miss Emmy Yusa. Yes, that's me. I'm calling from the Yoyogi police station. Huh? The police? <laughs> Didn't think there was a snowball's chance at home they'd ID us from that bike. These cops are good. Well, we were definitely right about one thing. Regarding her age, the hero fudged the truth. If I remember correctly, she's only about 17 or 18. Yeah, I told you that. But she must have registered as being at least 20. No idea why, though. I thought women lied about their age to appear younger. I don't understand why fudge means lie. Ah! Who the crap cares about that? Why me? I want to know. Because I'm a little confused. I'm a hero, so please tell me why I just had to post bail for a couple of hours and I'm good for nothing demon! Dude, would you please calm down? I'm sorry, but we couldn't think of anybody else. We weren't positively overjoyed about asking for your help either, but we had no choice. Well, I for one never thought I'd have to use my seal and ID card for something that's just so dumb! I suppose I could have asked my manager at work to help us out first. We can't annoy your boss with such trifles. So you annoy me instead? Well, duh, causing trouble for heroes is the whole point of being a devil. Uh, you win. Can't argue with that logic. Don't be mad, we let you stay at our place. <laughs> Emmy, relax. Heroes aren't supposed to have nervous breakdowns. Yeah, that's because they never make you, jerks! Your fridge was completely empty. Put a little more thought into your grocery list next time. You're a demon general and you don't even know how to shop. I'm on a diet. I'm watching my calories. <laughs> Just so you know, I got a threatening phone call at work today and it wasn't very pleasant. They're after you too, Mao. Mr. King Satan himself. Thanks for the heads up. It was just a heads up, so don't get the wrong idea. I'm still going to be the one to take you down. And don't you forget it! Just a reminder, we're in public, so stop acting like a psycho. <laughs> you suck! Just make sure you don't get murdered by some loser nobody before I get the chance to kill you first! They're after both of us, huh? And they called her at work, of all things. It's a diet and workout plan. Oh, get a grip. Really? Nobody cares about your stupid exercise routine. I'm home. <laughs> to clarify, what time are you meeting Miss Sasaki? Where are you meeting her? And when can I expect you back? What are you, my mom now? Five o'clock, Shinjuku Station. We do have a bit of time to spare, then. In that case, sire, you and I must go. Wait, go where? Oh, yes. Quite fabulous. Whatever, where did you get the money to pay for this stuff, anyway? Naturally, I've set aside a secret stash of savings for just this sort of emergency. Emergency? I'm just gonna sit there, hear her out, and come home. I don't think this is necessary. Oh, contraire, sire! 
Do you not see? A fragile teenage girl never divulges her deepest fears to anyone but her closest confidants. And that's you! Did she or did she not reveal it to you? Surely you cannot be blind to what such a disclosure means! Yeah, okay, will you just chill out? And besides, there is no way I'll allow you to go on a date dressed like some dowdy transient bum. Ouch! Why so harsh? I do not dress like a transient bum and you will take that back! observing her that this Sasaki girl is more than just a little fond of your old rival. It seems so. Um, I'm sorry, that doesn't bother you at all? You want it to? Well, no, I... I just find it extremely unbearable and highly insolent that a mere human girl has become so enamored of my king. Personally, I'm surprised a girl that cute would waste her time with a no-good, very bad miscreant like your king. You dare insult his majesty so? Of course I do. Anyway... From a girl's point of view, at least, it's pretty obvious she's into him. The trendy little dress she just bought, brand new hairdo fresh from the salon. And those boots are new, too. Oh? How can you tell? Well, it's not so apparent to a man, I guess. Her dress is screaming, I'm young and available. And the form-fitting cut is there to emphasize her- Damn, those are huge! What are huge? Nothing, pervert! I said nothing! Besides, big ones just get in your way when you're fighting in a battle. Small ones mean small armor, which saves money and means you're less constricted in your movements. I think you've lost me. Just forget it. Back to the matter at hand. Do you think he can get anything useful out of her? Don't ask me. I'm only trailing in the event that any undesirables decide to show up. You're here, so you fail by default. Still, this whole earthquake thing is definitely a cause for concern. One thing I know for sure, I'm not going to sit here and find out the hard way. Not really any point in spying on him from out here. Follow me in. Follow you in where? To get a table. Now are you coming or not? Wait a second! How could I expect His Majesty to excuse such extreme audacity? No! Stop right there! Me 
Maybe you could just go over the details one more time, please. Yeah, sure. I told you how my tinnitus got really bad, didn't I? It happened right around the time I started working at McDonald's. At first, I thought I was just tired from doing a bunch of work I wasn't used to. But then, last night... for sure. Yeah, but do you think he's okay? Oh, you're worried he got crushed by the rubble, are you? Well, it's true he'd make a lot of people happy if he kicked off, me included. But I guarantee he's alive. I'll be the one to defeat him. He's not allowed to die here. No way, no how. Yeah, 
Right. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, he will. Trust me on that. Emmy Yusa, by the way. In case you're still wondering, there really is nothing between Mao and me, I swear. Chiho Sasaki. And I guess I'll pretend to believe you for now. So, what made you fall for him anyway? <gasps> what are you talking about? I haven't fallen for him! Then you picked a fight with me in a public restaurant because you don't like him? No, I do! I mean, I... not like... Oh, I guess I really am super obvious. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Oh, that might be more comforting if you told me how you really feel about Mr. Mao. How I feel? For someone who claims to be his enemy, you sure do seem chummy with him whenever you're together. <laughs> like the Godfather says, friends close and enemies closer. Huh? I've known him for a long time, Chiho, almost my entire life. Just because I'm friendly with him doesn't mean what I said to you is any less true. Loving Mao will get you hurt. I guess I don't quite understand what you mean. You'll get it. But in reality, maybe it's better if you don't. For now, huh? rest up. You can use a little sleep. I hear you breathing. She's asleep. You can come out. Stay out of my business. Mao? What happened to your body? I don't know. It just changed on me. This magic. It's back. Man, this is the worst. How am I supposed to explain this? This is it. Now's my chance. If I focus all of the celestial force I have left, I can still make a sacred sword strong enough to defeat him. Take care of Chi. Uh, These people need me. Hopefully there aren't many casualties. I don't have time to wait for the rescue squad. I'll figure something out. Is he serious? Uh -huh. Alright. It's time. Why would the devil rescue humans?
protected by the Grand Hoshin Church and the Royal Army, so I have no doubt we'll be perfectly fine. There's nothing to worry about. If you ask me, there's a lot to worry about, especially if the Demon General Lucifer attacks. I certainly hope you're right, though. Are the demons coming here? If they do, I promise you'll be okay. The Holy Father's prayers protect us. No one will hurt you. <laughs> she ended up at a disaster zone, especially because of a date. I feel the same way. I'm sorry. Please, it's no big deal. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. And Miss Yusa, I should thank you as well. Sasaki from West Shinjuku Station. It's no coincidence, then. I'm the reason she's hearing that voice. The magic I used when I first got here must have affected Chiho somehow. So what's your plan? I think I'll try eating in a bunch of underground cafes, then wait for one to fall on me. How stupid are you? Oh, shut up. I'm tired. I'm gonna go home now and get some rest. You're what? I'm sure you've realized nothing else will happen today. I imagine they'll need to regroup since their big attack failed. Attack? Yeah, that was no natural quake. We weren't just coincidentally almost killed in the same place at the same time again. Someone set it up. Could have been a sonar pulse or some kind of magical interference. I'm not a hundred percent, though. 
What I can tell you for sure is that both of our covers are blown. Then our enemy... ...has been standing right next to us. I wonder if maybe he didn't try to follow through, because my magic started to come back. But who? Who could possibly be after both of us? And also, who can produce that kind of power in a world where we can't even replenish our own Amy. magic or celestial Amy. force? Hey, Emmy, it's me! Over Rika? Wow, you Amy. actually have a friend? Didn't see that coming. Shut up! Like, you can talk! Oh, go on, she's waiting. Yeah, I hear her. dragging you over here. You didn't drag me here. Did too. Cause based on my own experience, I don't know, I just I figured you probably shouldn't be alone right now. So <laughs> here you go. You missed out on dinner, right? Yeah. And I'm starving. Feels like my stomach is eating itself. Then by all means, dig in, sister. Please, sire, punish me harshly. You cannot dismiss this. I am unworthy to stand at your side. I already told you. Just forget about the whole damn thing. Excuse me. Could I have a word with you two? <sighs> that was amazing. Thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But with an appetite like that, guess I didn't have to worry. Truth. <sighs> Excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, good. You got it? No, it wasn't expensive at all. Grandpa loves pretty much any liquor. Couldn't care less about the brand. <laughs> Today's Quake? Oh, yeah, that wasn't a big deal at all. Oh, it was close for sure, but I'm totally fine. So let everyone know, okay? All right, bye. Moms, sorry about that. That her? Yep, one and only. Do they live close or are they abroad like mine? Oh, no, they're just in Kobe, not too far away. I don't normally talk about where I'm from because I always get awkward questions. Awkward? Like what? Well, people want to know about that whole earthquake thing. What tragedy was like for me. I was just a kid when it happened, but it's not like I have a super easy time talking about it. That disaster was the scariest thing I've been through. I don't know why, but everyone always asks the questions that are the hardest to answer. Yeah, I can empathize with you there. with the surprise hug. You were the first one, Emmy. You were the first person I've ever met who didn't ask anything insensitive as soon as they found out I was from Kobe. Once someone's perspective gets shifted so dramatically, you can't tell which way they'll go, so it's hard to have faith in people. There's always those ones who take advantage of the chaos to do bad things, you know? But then others are so kind-hearted, they'll do whatever they can to help you, even after they've lost everything. So I was thinking that, you know how when you feel unsure, it's kind of like your angel side and your demon side are arguing with each other over what you should do? It's like, well, it's up to people to make that choice. They can either go with the angel or go with the demon, right? Yeah, maybe they can choose. Now, you boys are with an acting troupe, uh. what? I used to want to be an actor, so I know exactly where you're coming from. But you can't practice lines on the sidewalk, okay? Uh... I'm sure it's tough trying to get a full house, but there's got to be a better way. Just don't give up. Look, it may not mean much for a man whose dream never came true, but the minute you give up, it's all over. Right. Oh, and watch your backs. We've had a lot of muggings around here lately. Don't want people to start accusing you. <sighs> had his briefcase stolen on the way home from work. What? PMO Another one? There have been a lot of muggings lately. Yeah, it's totally crazy. Makes me wish I had my own personal bodyguard. Maybe one with a nice six-pack. You should consider yourself lucky, Emmy. Huh? 
You know, you've got that guy you were talking to before. What? That guy's a twit! You two gotta be close to know that. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm gonna be a nosy Nancy. Now dish, who is that hot guy anyway? He? Uh, whatever, he means absolutely nothing to me! I'm leaving some towels here for you. Cool, thank you, Rika. something not dangerous. Oh, well, sweet. Does that mean I get to keep the money I owe you? <laughs> Consider us even. Huh? Hardly. Or did you forget your promise to leave us alone for did a while? Did you forget how I bailed your asses out? Like I said, even. You still suck. Yeah, shut up. How's LCL? Did he make it out of the collapse okay? For the most part. He's not physically injured, but he seems to have taken a sizable psychological hit. Uh? Please, your majesty! I told him about how I'd gotten some of my power back, but he still beat himself up all night for not being able to do anything for his king in crisis, so he's taking the morning off and sleeping in. Yeesh. So what about you? Have you had the chance to recover from our little attack? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you used some of your power to put Chi to sleep. Uh, yeah, thank you for asking, but you don't get to know everything. Fine, be that way. And feel free to skedaddle, too. My pleasure! It's too early for this. Oh, and be careful with those shoes on the stairs. I have never, for the hero who very nearly vanquished King Satan, even in this assumed form, to sustain so many injuries falling down a simple flight of stairs? Well, you have sullied his majesty's reputation. Oh, we only have bandages. I thought we purchased gauze. Did that not happen? Apparently not. I know it's a pain, but would you make a quick run to the pharmacy and pick some up? Medical tape, too. I really don't want to have to hear her whining at me again. As you wish, sire. Might I borrow Dullahan for this journey? Permission granted. Guess we can go ahead and disinfect it. Here, don't use this me. to... I can handle it myself! Jeez. Well, excuse me, princess. Have at it. <laughs> Stings a bit, huh? Does this? Dude, what was that for? Chill out! Shut up! What are you doing? You're the devil! So why haven't you been acting like a demon at all? Like not a single atrocity! I honestly don't understand where all this is coming from. No, you're poor, you cook, you're respected at your lame job, you charm your way into the hearts of high school girls! Huh? A devil being proud of some random teenager having a crush on him. That part seems a little personal. Because it was personal! <laughs> well, I've never seen a hero who's so inept that she falls downstairs, cries, and has to get put back together by a couple demons. Why are you being so courteous? What? Why be nice to me? To people? Why are you being nice to this world? <laughs> if you have the capacity for compassion... If you have the capacity for kindness, why didn't you show it when you killed my father? The devil I know is cruel and vicious. He murders humans and squashes them under his feet like they were bugs. And you know what makes that devil happy? Death and destruction and sorrow and blood. I, uh... You burned our fields with your fire, destroyed our castles with lightning. You swept away our towns with floods. You're the ruler of demons and you allow your monsters any brutality. I swear I will never forgive you. Our home, our fields, my father's life. You took away everything I've ever loved. I was happy and you destroyed it all. Never, I'll never forgive you. Wow, okay. I've never given it much thought, but I'm sorry, you know? Back then, I didn't really understand what humans were like. Who I ran into while I was at the pharmacy. I asked her to come by and. Uh... And 
I should not have come. I'm interrupting something. You, you two really are a thing. She? No. I swear we're not. It's not how it looks. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Geo. Uh, <laughs> so that was bad. My lover's ah! old flame over his beautiful new girl. And without warning, the newest sweetheart arrives on the scene just in time to discover her darling love never truthfully broke things off with his ex. Well, this is the variety of sordid romantic drama that's served me enough to cause the diabetes. Yes, I feel the same way. Of course you do. I'm Mickey Shiva and the landlady of this fine establishment. I take it you're Mr. Mouse's girlfriend, or one of them at the very least? I'm not dating this loser! You're the loser, Miss Shiva! No. Me kitty, please. Right, forgot. Listen, kids, I'm having some repairs done to the building. This is my official notification to the tenants. Quite a few disturbing occurrences these days. Cave-ins and muggings and what have you. Uh-huh. I wonder if something will happen again today, don't you? I, uh, I hope not. Which reminds me, that adorable young lady who was just here seems to have run off toward the train station in tears. <laughs> Another earthquake? Mr. Mao. Yeah? If you've involved her, I hope you're prepared to take full responsibility. For what? Come now, surely you've realized the truth. That child took a direct sonar hit and received an idea link transmission. An earthquake at this moment is hardly a coincidence. A human being's thought and will have immense power, right? I imagine if anyone knew that to be a fact, it would be the three of you. In my opinion, you should run to her rescue before it's too late. That was weird. Is he a cry for a rape squiff? He's a beggar. Pretty awesome. He grows king. He's a higher or spetsun at Brevtex. A clit of game Shikyo Krixov? He had to take great attack. Krixi has to beat a lega to feel chance. He could coach. Fix the chair to go to Rex. Japanese lega presetex. Each ton of clunkies. Keep ton of plenderses.
They want them in a state of panic. Because that equals fear. And fear turns into every negative emotion you can think of, which then intensifies their magic and makes them more powerful. I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you made it easy, so thanks. I realized it when I was trapped inside that cafe after the quake. I could feel the human's fear and despair flowing directly into me. That's what returned me to my original form. If that's the case, why haven't you tried to get more magic? All you had to do was keep stirring up their negativity. Eventually, you would have been powerful enough to find a way back home. That's true, but the thing is, I don't want to go back. I like it here. Being human isn't half bad. This world's done a lot for me, and I don't want to cause it any trouble. If I were you, I'd leave this realm alone. <laughs> How sweet. You've gone soft on me, haven't you, sire? But you and I both know there's no chance that's gonna happen. Cause I'm hungry. What's on the menu? Ooh, look, a scared little girl served medium rare. Let her go! No, don't do it! <laughs> Not your cup of tea, boss? I think you're right. That would be a lot of trouble, so how about I just eat her raw instead? Go, no! <laughs> wow, figured she wasn't a fan, but from the vibe I'm getting, this girl's really jealous of you, Amelia. <laughs> Step out of 
to escape death's mighty clutches. Yeah, if that's true, what the heck took you so long? I had to go back to the apartment and pick up my general's cape. I knew that was coming. In the future, I'd prefer you let me handle things on my own. I'll let you thank me later. Right now, you and I need to focus our energy on taking these two out. Dude, you're the worst. Seriously, you've got to be like the worst partner in the history of time. you got to do anything. I do not have the means to replenish my celestial force. If I use it all now, I can't go home. What do you think happens if we live? Is it just me, or does my role in all this seem a little anticlimactic? This is real. It's actually happening. Guess there's no way to talk our way out of this one. <laughs> Super heavy, but still, way to 
go me. Seriously, awesome job there. Good work. Damn you! What do you say we wrap this thing up? If we don't get a move on, she and I are gonna be late for work. Right, Chi? I promise to teach you how to fix the ice cream machine today. As for the rest of you, you got some nerve relegating a demon king like me to a menial task like holding up a stupid bridge. Time for a little payback! discussion is over. Dude, what the hell is that all about? You just do whatever he says? Yeah, pretty much. The boss is responsible for the mistakes of his subordinates. That principle's as true in McRonald's as it is back in Inte Isla. The Supreme Ruler's gotta take on that responsibility. Egon 
Ignoitica i Ofka Gelu Tetas Olba Fa Grihu X Tuptos O Elmeralda Fra Elbert Ofka Ival Rose Repsai Troll You Rose? Rats Game Zoltar Meanful Emeralda Fam Chernutet Orex Itrom Plate Erotifi If Rova Tropet Emeralda Fi Gridi Dropso Emilia's Cavidraf Vakhev Fa Tetas Olbas Isa Stoya As I'm Spear? Fi Shentan Small back home properly. Without His Majesty's benevolence, you would be homeless right now. Lucky, we brought a present for you. You guys get to go out to eat, but all I get is a crappy pork bowl from a cheap convenience store? We obtained that computing device and internet environment for you. How much do you think that costs? You've no right to complain. Yeah, but I can't eat the computer, can I? Then do what you're supposed to do and gather information on existing magic in this world for His Majesty. Depending on your success, you can get a large pork bowl instead. Or maybe even a jumbo one. Jumbo pork, that's all? About this computer stuff, are you seriously good at it? Because I don't get it at all. Well, if you don't believe me, I'll show you some of what I can do right now. <laughs> Boo, I wish today would hurry up. Thank you for calling the Doko Demo Customer Service Center. My name is Emmy Yusa. How may I help you today? Whoa, you got through! Nice one, dude! You are good! What? Hey, Emmy! Can you hear us? Oh, Mal. I'm working right now and you know it! What do you think you're doing? Aw, oh, don't be mad. This is a hacking experiment. Urushihara said he could do all kinds of stuff if he had a computer. So I made my first big credit card purchase and got one for him. I have several questions for you, but first of all, who's Urushihara? Oh, that's Lucifer. What? What do you mean, Lucifer? Thank you very much. Mr. Mal, you are like so cool. I mean, you already made ship manager after less than a year. You should be proud. You think? I feel like I'm just a cheap substitute for the boss when she's not around. Wait, doesn't this mean... Well, even if it's only a couple people for not that long a time, you're technically ruling over humans, right? Wrong. I won't allow it. Emmy? Welcome to McDonald's. I need to talk to you. I'm working right now, and you know it. What do you think you're doing? You started it while I was... Shut up, I see what you did just there. Excuse me. Might I, uh, interest you in a delicious order of jalapeno fries? They're our featured item today. Oh, suck. Can't handle online gaming. That was the whole point of this thing. <laughs> I know you. Cappadocia. Given all the evidence I've amassed, it is not impossible this site is the former home of a lower-level demon who was banished to Earth. And if that's indeed the case, there's a chance we may be able to replenish our magic there. Although, there's no telling how many months' worth of His Majesty's wages it would take to fund a trip to Turkey. <laughs> the landlady? Thank you, good night! So, what do you want from me now? Oh, like you don't know! What was with that phone call yesterday? I already told you, Urushihara did it. And why is Lucifer randomly Urushihara? Well, with the police arresting Olba, he's trying to lay low. To answer your next pressing question, yes, for the lack of a better option, I'm letting him stay at my place for a while. Three men in that tiny apartment? I know. It's not like I have a choice. At this point, I'm basically all out of magic. We couldn't go back to Inte Isla even if we wanted. Oh. Sucks for you, I can go back there anytime I want to. I don't have to slave away looking for a source for my power. Controlling the gate is hardly anything I need to worry about. Then why don't you leave me alone and hurry on out of here? Because I am a hero! As long as you stay in this world, I have a duty to keep my eye on you! 
Why is she always such a pain? Hey guys, I'm home. Uh, Urushihara? Hang in there! Who did this to you? here all over. There's a lot more to this world than just the pyramids and Stonehenge. If you look, you can find a whole bunch close to us. That info's not necessarily available at the library, though. This might be the best candidate in the area. A sealed-off classroom? Yep. There's an old room in this school that's been completely abandoned. Supposedly, you can hear stuff every night. Whispers and laughter and footsteps. Freaky stuff like that. You ask me, there's probably a demon involved in that story. <laughs> Guess this is the place. You know, I'm surprised it looks so cheery. Do you really think there's a magical spot and a possible demon here? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sensing anything so far. Well, sire, one does not simply walk into a high school one does not attend and start exploring the place. Mr. Miss <laughs> Sasaki? Oh yeah, I knew the name of this school sounded familiar for some reason, must be because Chi's talked about it before. Hey Chi, is that the boy you work with? Yeah, it's Mr. Mao! <laughs> Who's that guy with him? That's his roommate, Mr. Ashia. His roommate? No way! Are you telling me two men are sharing an apartment? Oh my gosh, do they share a bed too? I bet it's a twin, huh? <laughs> no, you got the wrong idea! She certainly seems to be enjoying her conversation. I wonder what it's about. A sealed off classroom? Yeah. From what I've been told, it's supposed to be one of your school's seven wonders. Do you know what any of that means? Yeah, those stories are pretty famous, actually. People have said they can hear monsters groaning and other mysterious voices whispering. Some have seen reflections of demons in the windows. Wait a minute, that wasn't you by chance, was it? No, certainly not. But it still might have something to do with Inte Isla, so I was thinking I should, you know, I should probably check it out. That makes perfect sense to me! I can set the whole adventure up for you, too! The old part of the building is this way! Why was the room sealed off in the first place? It happened before I was even born! Now, this is only a rumor, but apparently a student disappeared from that room, almost like he was spirited away. So they closed off the room and never used it again. So, how would you guys like to take a break and have a little snack? You do realize this is not a field trip. Seems like you're having a good time with this. Well, yeah, because no matter where we are, I'm always the one who ends up needing you to help me out. It feels pretty good to be on the other side for once. You're not scared? No, I'm fine as long as I'm with you. Cool. So, if there are seven uh... wonders, what are the other six supposed to be? <laughs> um, let me see here. The north stairway with a different number of steps going up than going down. The statue that walks around covered in blood. The sculpture in the art room that gets a fold in its eyelid at three in the morning. The dictionary in the library where the words for curse are stained red. And the piano in the music room where one of the notes sometimes won't play. With the 
sealed off classroom that only makes six wonders, though. Nobody knows the seventh one. It is said that if someone learns all seven... If they learn all seven what? Yeah, what happens then? They get a call on their cell phone from the netherworld and their soul is totally stolen! That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, why would just finding out get your soul stolen? What if it was like a coincidence? It wasn't even your fault that you found out! Sire, please calm down for a moment and think about it rationally. Why would the story about this room, which existed well before Miss Sasaki was born, involve a cellular telephone? Good point. <laughs> what the crap, Urushihara? Trying to give me a Dude, corner? what are you shouting at me for? Where are you? Did you make it to the sealed room? No, not yet. So, what are you calling for? I'm trying to help you. Jeez, listen. The room in question is most likely an area where the gate has opened at some point before. The gate? Yep. Once the gate is open someplace, magnetic fields at that particular location destabilize, and it's easier for it to open there again. Then that story about the student who was spirited away could actually be true? Could be. I bet the poor kid got sucked into the gate. Anyway, if we can manage to be there next time it opens, or at least figure out when that is, maybe we can get some magic from it. You never know. Just holler at me when you get there. Lates. Urushihara and his inter-whatever. I don't understand how we could find out so much so quickly. It's like a series of magic tubes. <laughs> You guys heard that too, right? Maybe it's a security guard? No, oh, the guard should have all left by now. <laughs> so we might see a demon who came through the gate from another world. Knowing that ahead of time means there's nothing to be scared of. Bring it on! But do you have an adequate amount of magic left to fight, Sire? If not, you can use this. What is it? A potent talisman. It has already proven effective against demons like us. The landlady's letter? <laughs> to find some way to get magic from the sealed off classroom, is that right? First of all, I don't have to tell you. And second of all, what are you doing here? The great hero is trespassing? Um, I'm sorry, but uh, we're not allowed to wear shoes inside. Would you mind changing into these? Look, I was following you guys around as usual, and I saw you sneaking into a school after it was closed, so I came in to find out what was going on. I'm still not sure what you weirdos are up to, so just deal. I'm here, I'm going with you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it! Mo! Get back here! I feel guilty. Is it really okay to ditch her? You bet it is. She's annoying and nothing but trouble. Keep on walking. Hold it right there, you ever to slice up an anatomical model with a sacred sword. <sighs> Makes me question how well she'd do against an actual opponent. You need to do something about this mess, woman. Man, these things have got to be expensive. And I ain't paying for it. Well, they won't have to know if we don't say anything. Mm -hmm. But that's probably out of the question, huh? Yeah, well, technically it's all your fault because you're the ones who left me behind and made me chase after you. Learn how to take some personal responsibility. Come on, use your magic to fix it. Why should I use my precious magic to cover up something you did? <gasps> this model, it only had one heart. Mr. Ashia, I don't know how demons work, but humans only come with one heart. So, it's across this passageway, huh? Would you please quit waving that thing around? It's like you're compensating for something. Nice try, bucko, but I don't take orders from you. That's the old part of the building there. The room we're looking for should be on the third floor. All the way up the stairs. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is it. I don't remember there being any actual boards, though. What did I just say? 
thinking about waving that around? And... Mr. Ashia, what was that noise for? Look, someone has clearly used this door recently. They're not even attached. So, the door isn't even actually sealed? I would hardly say this place has been sealed shut for years. Uh, what's that? Isn't it a game system? <laughs> <laughs> what now, Arushihara? Don't be rude. Are you there yet? Just walked in. What's with you? Stop calling every five seconds. It's really annoying. Do you see anything on the floor? Like, say, a game system? Yep, it's here. We have it right now. Yeah, I knew it. I had a feeling that's where it got left. Where it what? Huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Why don't you just go ahead and bring that on home with you? Just tell me one thing. Do I have to punch you when I get home? What? Why? You said this was an easy place for the gate to open. Is this where you and Alba came through when you got to this world? Yeah, that's the place. Did I not say that? What do you think? Oh, well, huh. We sort of lived there for a while, and I accidentally forgot to grab the game I was playing before we left. Urushihara, you better not have sent us out here just to bring back a stupid game. Don't be silly, give me some credit. I thought, you know, maybe the gate opened again and someone else came through, obviously. Did you find anything? If not, get back here already, I'm starving. I'd even be fine with a pork bowl at this point. Who does that little jack wagon of a demon think he is? If you ask me, sire, we should just sell it at the used game store. We could certainly stand to have the extra cash. Your cheapness never ceases to amaze. Huh? Hold on. <sighs> Dang it, yesterday was a complete waste of time. for my wretchedness. Your wretchedness? Um, thanks, that's very courteous. I'm pleased to formally meet you. My name is Sadao Mao. This is but a small gift of my thanks and good wishes as your new neighbor. I have been told that noodles are the best gift for someone to give their new neighbor. New neighbor, got it. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Sire, do you need assistance? That looks heavy. That's because it is! Oh, good morning, miss. My name is Ashia. I'm an old friend of Mao's. It is a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, I actually know who you two are. I have never met the landlady of this fine establishment before, but I received a letter from a person whom I believe to be her, and it instructed me to come to you if I had any issues. Oh, does it now? Yes, there was a photo enclosed if you would like to see it. No, no, that's fine. I'm sure it's her. At any rate, I am relieved to have such helpful new neighbors. I wonder if you would be kind enough to instruct me in the lower class living? <laughs> the lower class living? Uh, 
Is there another person here? Yeah, we inherited a third roommate recently. I'm Arushi Hara. Nice to meet you. And I'm a lazy bum. Well, that's not my choice, is it? And why is that exactly? Because you... Shut up! I see. I understand. You understand what? I shall excuse myself for now. Salutations again. Yeah, salutations. salutations. Thank you. 
water. Now all you have to do is boil some udon noodles and you've got a delicious meal in a flash. Once the noodles are done, give them a quick rinse and you'll have a very respectable cold udon. If we had a raw egg, it would be even better. Ugh, how can you stand to boil anything when it's this hot out? Good Shiro does this for three meals every day. Do you feel no filial piety? Thank you, Miss Kamazuki, and please keep trying with the boy. That creature refuses to listen to his own family. Go on, grate some ginger. Surely you can handle a simple grater. Don't call me Shirley. Uh-oh. Ashia, it looks like we're out of ginger. Oh, right. I finished the last of it yesterday. I beg your pardon, Miss Kamazuki, but let's just add Welsh onions this time. What are they even doing? I shall fetch ginger from my room and return forthwith. I don't think you actually know how to use stairs. What? Now? Seriously, you need to like practice or something. What's going on? Who fell? I apologize. This is because I opened the door so suddenly. No, so not your fault. I'm the one who's sorry. I should have been paying better attention to what I was doing. Yep, totally. Yet she claims to be a hero. So yeah, you're welcome, Mimi. I picked up all the crap you dropped outside. Oh, good. I suppose you can just put it over there, then. And I suppose you can just cut the stupid, pretentious tone. What is this? Never pegged you as an energy drink fan. Get that back! Stuff will give you heat stroke like Our Lady Ashia of the floorboards. For real? You're suffering from heat stroke? No, I just get sick every once in a while, like most human beings do. I'm afraid my gift was the culprit for your current state. I should have chosen something more thoughtful and nutritious. Oh no, you're hardly responsible, Miss Kamazuki. Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I moved in next door to these kind gentlemen last week. Nice to meet you. I'm Suzuno Kamazuki. As I hail from an ancient and old-fashioned family in another land, I am still fairly unaccustomed to this particular area. I would be most happy if you could instruct me in city life. Sounds a lot like me. Pardon? Nothing! My name's Imi Yusa. It's a pleasure. Yum. Thanks for the grub. <sighs> There's too much to do in Memorize. I'm exhausted. Because your part-time job is just so hard. I'll have you know, while you spend your days dilly-dallying through your little life on your little telephone, I've been greatly maturing as a human. In what way? Also, you don't really count as human. Did you forget, Emmy? A mere two days from now, this Sunday, I will be the new shift manager at the McRonald's over by the train station. I will be the assistant boss! Whoopee! Hey, don't act like it's not a big deal! Shift managers get paid more and have a major position of responsibility, so there! Yes, I'm sure it's a big deal to you, but the point you seem to be missing is that I couldn't care less. Fine, be that way. But don't act surprised when I eventually climb past heights you can't even imagine! Are you an idiot? No, ma'am. I cannot allow you to speak to the head of our household in such a disrespectful manner. What? Good, Emmy. Do you perchance have an intimate relationship with Good Sadao? Ah! Not funny, Susano! Well, I have noticed your conversations seem to flow back and forth quite easily. It is rather as though there is no restraint between you two. Yeah, like an old married couple. Shut up, but... Twerp! Nobody asked you! No, there's no restraint between us, but more importantly, there's no trust or friendship or anything positive! In fact, I pretty seriously want him to drop dead, so don't get it twisted. We will never be intimate. Oh. I see. I'm getting some serious deja vu right now. Uh, uh, look, I'm sure I'm reading this wrong, but are you maybe crushing on Mao? Uh, 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 that was so loud. What if he heard what you said? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't actually think you were, so... Uh... Well, be that as it may, I'm very impressed. How did you figure it out? I don't know, I can't really explain it. Probably shouldn't mention I've been through this before with another girl. You know, I guess it's just our lady's intuition. Of course, how remarkable. At first I thought she was an assassin from Inte Isla, or possibly another demon. But assassins don't normally stay still for a whole week, and as far as demons go, she's way too polite. Maybe I should give her a warning. 
Hey, I'm Susano. I'm sure you'll think this is none of my business, but I need to tell you something. You do? Yeah. You shouldn't get too close to those guys. It'll only end badly for you. What do you mean, badly? Mao's not the kind of boy a normal girl can handle. I just think it's best to steer clear of him. Uh, no, I'll be fine. I know I may not look it at the moment, but I'm a seasoned warrior. Still, though, since this warning is coming from you, I'll be careful. I doubt you'd mention this to me if you didn't have a reason to believe it. Nevertheless, it's too late for me to leave. I'm sorry if this is impertinent, but would you lend me your aid should I need it? Sure, I'll do whatever I can to help. You will? Wonderful, I can rest easier now. I have an idea. Wait here a sec. You guys didn't go and do anything stupid while I was out there, did you? What, and incur the wrath of a daring hero? Here you go. I've written down my cell number, my email, and my address. If these buttheads are rude or make you feel uncomfortable at all, just let me know, okay? Thank you. I am in your debt. Come on! Quit freaking out! What do you think we are? Bloodthirsty demons who are more despicable than cockroaches! I'm sure I don't have to say this, but if you pull anything with that girl, I'll cut off your head and display it on your filthy windowsill. Jeez, what are you now? The evil police? Alrighty then, I think that should take care of that. Don't worry, though. They're actually a lot better behaved than I generally give them credit for. See you later! She make it okay? No, but she only fell halfway this time. Baby steps, Simmy. Baby steps. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Uh, may the tides of war be with you, sir. Don't worry about seeing me off. Just stay in bed. Ugh, dealing with Emmy saps my energy every time. Good sit down. Uh, Oh, Miss Kamazuki. Sorry about Emmy earlier. She can be kind of a handful. I hope she didn't say anything rude to you. No, she didn't say anything rude at all. Oh, good. That's a relief. Well, I've got to head to work, so I'll see you later. Um, here. It's for you. What is it? So how's it going over there, Amelia? Is the Holy Vuitton Beta working out so far? Well, I've been drinking it regularly, but I haven't really had a chance to see if it's doing much quite yet. We haven't been in any fights, so I haven't needed Celestial Force. Wow, really? Does that mean you're getting along better with the Devil and his demon friends these days? I wouldn't say that. We bicker pretty much whenever we see each other. And we're both so busy working, neither of us has the energy to actually go out and get a life. You know, it's funny. That sounds like the quintessential complaint of couples who don't get to spend enough time together. Whoa! on your side. I suppose they're better than we thought they'd be at the moment. None of the countries have made any obvious moves, per se. No obvious moves is a good thing? Well, it's the best we can hope for. I'm getting information from a lot of sources right now, but so far it's all just whispers and rumors. Also... Also what? I heard the church's missionary division is trying to uncover the truth behind Olga's disappearance. It's possible some people are setting their sights on finding you, hoping it might help them figure out what happened. Bottom line is, under no circumstances are you to let your guard down. From what I've been told, some of these interested parties may not be above taking out Japan if it gets them faster answers. I guess catching a break is too much for a hero to ask for. Lucky me. Seems that way. Well then, this bill will be out of control if we stay on the phone much longer. So I'm going to hang up now. Be safe. Talk to you later. Sure, you be safe too. As you know, some ducky fried chicken across the road, which is expected to pose a huge threat to us, will finally be open tomorrow. Unfortunately, I'll be out of town, so I'm counting on you to run the ship. This is a big deal for you, Mao. Think you'll be able to handle it? Yes! Of course, in case there's an emergency, I'll let you know where you can reach me at any time. 
But unless it's someone died serious, I want you to try and handle things on your own. This is a chance for major personal development. I understand, ma'am. Tonight, you're low on staff, so stay out of the weeds. In case you couldn't tell, your new job as shift manager is starting right now. Huh? You might as well take a break now, since you won't be getting one later. If you can get back here by six, you can run and grab some dinner. Or if you'd rather, you can eat here, no charge. I brought food today, but thanks anyway. Hi, Mr. Mal. Are you taking a break? Yep, gotta refuel and all. Excuse me, what's that? What? My bento box? Your bento box? Because it looks pretty darn fancy to me. Did Mr. Ashia splurge on that for you? No. It's not really my bento box. A new neighbor moved in next door and let me borrow it. New neighbor, huh? Living right next door to you? Ooh. Yeah, she's cool. I think you'd like it. Your neighbor is a sheep! <laughs> Why are you yelling? There's no reason for yelling. Oh, the sheep moved next door to you. She's already loaned you her personal fancy bento box. Something's going on. What is Please it? Please stop shaking me. It feels not good. What you're telling me here is the new girl who lived in next door lent you her personal <laughs> bento box. Is that correct? Yes, Jane. That is correct. <laughs> on the bottom? No, wait, just hold on a sec. I'm not mentally prepared for that yet. Um, okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's wrong. I know the adrenaline has gotten me this far, but if this is my chance to turn back, I should probably take it. But, on the other hand, after coming this far, how can I just quit? No, Mr. Mouth, show me the bottom! Right. Yes, ma'am. Sir, welcome. Great. Yet another uneventful day stalking demons. I swear, by the same meal every night. Thank you very much. I'm sure we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> hey! What just happened? so they should have contacted the cops for me. By the way, I have to tell you... Yeah, what? I know this sucks, but the emergency manual states that we're to have the customers remain in the store until the police arrive. So would you mind waiting until they show up? I'm sorry, I hate to even ask. Fine. It is working. The better half that I activated this time. It contained a heck of a lot more power than back when I fought Lucifer two months ago. With this power, I might even be able to use the evil crushing rope. But that just makes it harder to figure out what that purple light might have been. I've never encountered an enemy who nullified a sacred sword and celestial force. Excuse me, miss. I picked these up. They're yours, right? Oh, yeah. Thank you for grabbing them. Seem to be a little jumpy, huh? Me too. Miss Yusa? Yeah? Chiho? Yes, it's me, and there's trouble. Chiho, what is it? What happened? It's Mr. Mao. Mr. Mao. What about Mao? 
now. What did he do? Well, um, today he brought... He brought... He brought what? He, he brought the heart with the pencil with the rice! And the homemade new year... If she's a real assassin for Vente Isla, the job's already done, right? <laughs> Trying to make everything about all that angel demon stuff is just a lame excuse. You gotta tackle this thing head on. Yeah, good point. One moment, please. <gasps> Greetings. Good to know. You have visitors. Okay, hold on a sec. Who is it? Tax collector? So what? <laughs> Chopsticks. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Mao. I brought mine with me. Oh. Okay, I guess there's nothing to worry about. Miss Susano is cooking in my stead. I'm a disgrace. Whoa, breakfast already? Wait, where the heck am I supposed to sit? Not cool, bro. Unacceptable! You made room for Emmy, but not for me? She's technically our guest. And these are the bowls from that stupid takeout place! Bon appetit! Bon appetit! Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Screw you! Dang, I hope one day I can become a great cook like you, Miss Susano. I am certain you will learn quickly. You think so? As long as you remember, even when serving others, a chef has motives of her own. In this case, I'm forcing everyone to help me get through my abundance of noodles. I bought in bulk to save money till I can find a job, but with the summer heat, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it before it spoils. Speaking of, what kind of jobs are you looking for? I do not reasonably expect to find full-time work. So long as my expenses are covered, I will indenture myself wherever I am able. Indenture herself? Who says that? Well, you could always come work at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, she could train you, and I'd be there to help out too, so it wouldn't be that stressful. Yeah, the learning the job part is not what's going to be stressful. We've been pretty understaffed lately. We could use another set of hands. Think about how little Miss High School's gonna take it. Don't you think she'd be a big help, Chi? Huh? Uh, right. Yeah, sure. And fail. Well, hey, there's no need to make a snap decision here. Trust me, when it comes to working with your friends, there are just as many minuses as there are pluses. That's very kind, good Sadao. I'll take your extremely generous offer under consideration and let you know if I require your help. Cool, sounds good. Perhaps I will rely on you as well, good Chiho. Oh, my. Finding a job is indeed of high importance, but in the interim, your time may be better served helping the young lady acquire new clothing and belongings. It's true, my wardrobe is a bit barren. I don't even own a decent pair of shoes, much less a purse. Hang on, all of your clothing is traditional like that? Indeed it is. <sighs> what? Is that unusual? 
Well, I wouldn't exactly classify it as run of the mill. You know where to find this fashion stuff, right? Like <laughs> so? I don't want your slacker jerks all over my stuff! Jeez, chill! I've never met a person who had less shame than you, Mr. Rurushihara. What the crap? Why is everyone always such a jerk to me? He does make a good point, though, Miss Yusa. Why don't you take her shopping? Sure, maybe after I get off work? Yes, thank you. I shall explore the shopping area until you're done. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah, totally! I look forward to it. Me too! <laughs> Many thanks. Hey, wait. Did you just change clothes? I did. Jeez, her options really are limited. Something wrong? No, not at all. Well, we'd better get a move on. All right. Sorry again about visiting so early. I sure hope you feel better soon, Mr. Ashia. That's very nice. I sincerely appreciate everything you've done here. Now, sire, please be the kind, trustworthy gentleman I know you to be and escort Miss Sasaki home. Yeah, sure. Will do, Mom. I like your bike, Mr. Mao. My steed. He's called Doolahan. Cool. Why doesn't it have a carrier on back? Well, he's a utility bike, so he wouldn't have a feature like that. It's kind of a shame, huh? I'd give you a pump, but there's a pretty hefty fine if we get caught. One person per bike. Yeah, that's not really where I was going with that. So, hey, I'm kind of curious about something. What do your parents have to say about you coming to hang out at my bachelor pad? Matter of fact, they didn't mind one bit. I was just honest about where I was going, and they said okay. Guess we're mother approved, as they say. Like the cereal? What about your dad? He was all... I think it's great you've already found a man you want to cook for. Speaking of, since Miss Susano won't be there to cook for you, do you have any idea what you're going to do for lunch? Uh, no. Guess I haven't really thought about it. Oh, so no plans, huh? Great. Do you mind if I bring you something? Well... I suppose Ashia would be happier knowing I was eating your home cooking instead of subsisting on junk food. So yeah, since you offered, I'll take you up on it. How wonderful! Then I'll make sure it's a hearty, nutritionally balanced meal so Ashia doesn't get himself into a panic. All right, Chi, tell me the truth. Aren't you a little weirded out that we're... What? That you're demons and angels from another world? Yeah, um, that. Well, since you asked, I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. Miss Yusa and I have been texting each other back and forth, so I've learned a lot about who you are and the things you've done. But I fell for you way before I knew about any of that stuff, so none of it can change the way I feel now. <laughs> I mean, just look at that face. That is not the face of a person who wants to take over the whole world. Yeah, about that. Miss Yusa did everything she could to keep me from falling for you because she was trying to save me from getting hurt. But I know what's in my heart and I won't turn away from it. The only person who can ever stop me from caring about you is me. Even if you just think of me as a friend or a trusted co-worker, that's totally fine, because that won't change things. It's not going to change my mind about how I feel, and it's certainly not going to make me act differently towards you. Ah, oh, jeez. This is what makes you humans so scary, you know that? I do. Especially us girls. Mess with one of us and you might lose a body part. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. You are truly loved, my good Sadat. <laughs> Miss Susano, how long have you been standing there? Long enough. The whole ordeal was a rare sight to behold. You're extremely virtuous, and quite cute to be so honest about your feelings, regardless of whom you've picked. Huh? <laughs> oh man, she's gonna break her neck riding all crazy fast like that. Surprising. Huh? What's surprising? The fact that I'm concerned about a friend? Apologies, but yes. Be honest. What is your opinion of a person such as yourself? Whoa, what's with the third degree? Mere curiosity. Nothing more. Well, let's see. After she was so straightforward and honest with me, it's not fair to her to play dumb and pretend like I don't get it. And besides, her folks trust me. At least, I mean, well, her mom does anyway, so I figure I should take the olive branch while it's extended. At What's that look for? Oh, nothing, good Sadal. If you'll excuse me, I've kept good Emmy waiting long enough. If you're headed to the station, let me walk you there. Uh. Or not. No, that would be fine. You find your wallet? Uh, yes, thank you. I apologize for keeping you waiting. Please, it's fine. So, um... We're about to ride the, what's it called, train? 
Yeah, we're only one stop away from Shinjuku, but it's a bit far to walk. While we're on the subject, I should mention, I've never been on one before. Huh? Although, I did learn that Tokyo residents pay for travel with watermelons. Do you know where I might obtain one? Yeah, that's not... Wait, back up. Now I'm confused about something. How'd you get to Sasazuka in the first place? Well, that's a silly question. I arrived here through the gate, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Wait, did you just say the gate? Okay, just to clarify, you're saying you're from Inte Isla. Yes, of course I am. Did you not know? historical drama. Several documentaries gave me some real insight. That explains a lot. In fact, some of them were incredibly helpful. Oarashi Mahiro, Lone Lion and Cub, as well as my personal favorite, Three for the Slay. Mito Fuku Shogun and Oko Rimo Shogun, though, did quite resonate with me. Yeah, right. So, getting back on topic, why did the Doctrinal Correction Council's head investigator move next door to the Devil's Castle? Explain that part to me. My investigation started with Olba Mayer. The only useful details he had were the location of Satan's residence and a vague idea of his lifestyle. I thought if I kept tabs on the devil, then I'd show up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, but what do you want from me? First, let us be certain we understand one another. What Father Mayer did to you was completely deplorable. I cannot apologize to you enough for his actions. And since based on our initial conversations, I assumed you knew I was Ente Eastland, it became quite clear to me the story of you joining forces with the devil was false. Olba's will is not the collective will of the church. 
And while it is not my place to speak on their behalf, I would like to be on your side. Olva is out of the picture now, so cut to the chase. I want for you to join me in my quest to eliminate King Satan and then return home with me. The church would make your survival public information, but they would cover up Olva's insidiousness. Do we have a deal? No. <laughs> doing everything within my power to restore your honor, hero, so why not? Because I don't care what the church or the kingdoms or anyone else thinks of me anymore. Surely you understand why I can't just up and trust someone who works for your organization. The same one led in part by the jerkwad who caved in a crowded mall just to kill me and the devil. Sorry to disappoint you, Susano, but unfortunately that's the way things have to be now. Olva teamed up with that idiot Lucifer in his attempt to murder me. Imeralda and Albert can give you a first-hand account of how much trouble he caused these people. Or you can ask Arushahara himself. Besides, I'm a hero. Taking on the devil is my duty, not yours. Do not interfere. But if we cooperate, we can- Doctrinal Correction Council. Just call it what it really is, the New Inquisition. I can't believe you're with them and you still don't get it. Also, I don't know what you're up to with this whole cooking for demons thing, but tread lightly, because if you mess with him or pull any cheap tricks on him, I absolutely guarantee you that Mal will see right through your little charade. He may not look it, but he's still the devil. I appreciate the warning. Good. Just promise you'll also give some thought to your own position in the council, okay? Oh, I grabbed this at the station for you. This one, too. Uh... If you're gonna be sticking around, you gotta figure out how this place works. For reals. The way you talk and dress is more than a little bit on the old-fashioned side. Anyways, I gotta run or I'll be late for work. We can go over the finer details after my shift tonight. Can you ever forgive me? Uh, forgive you for what? Well, your bike! I stole it! Oh, that. I'm so sorry! I'm so no. sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm it's so fine. sorry! I'm so sorry! Jeez, I'm so stop! Sorry. Yep, dead today. Just like I figured. The new SFC across the street jacked all our customers. And that menacing smile on Miss Kizuki's face is freaking me out. This is bad. I have to go down to corporate today and report our numbers. Not looking forward to telling them about our 80% sales drop. Yeah, no. One time an employee about my age lost big time to a competitor and his punishment got shipped off to Greenland. For real? No way we want to freeze our butts off in Greenland, right? No, ma'am. I don't care what you have to do. I authorize any means necessary. Beat SFC! Yes, ma'am! Oh man, this sucks. Can't believe this is my first day as fill-in manager. How can we help you? Pardon me for interrupting. I know you must be busy. I was wondering if I could speak to your manager, please. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Miss Kizuki's out on business right now, but I'm the shift manager on duty, and I will be happy to assist you in any way I'm able. Sit down, Mao. I've heard a lot about you, buddy. So nice to put a face with the name. They say you're sociable, hardworking, and open-minded, and that you add a wonderfully human touch to everything you do. Wow. I'm uh, flattered, really. What's with this guy? How rude of me. If you pay me the compliment of accepting my business card. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> You're the manager of Kentucky Fried Chicken? Mitsuki Sarue, how do you do? Sorry for not coming by to introduce myself sooner. As you can see, I've been a bit busy. I must admit, this is a delightful neighborhood. It is the absolute perfect combination of business and pleasure. And the women are quite lovely as well. Yes, that's true. At any rate, I look forward to doing business with you, Mr. Sarue. Hmm. Well... It's a real shame I can't lay eyes on your famously ravishing manager, but... <gasps> Beautiful. I would be honored if you'd utilize those incredibly sensual hands to prepare a special meal with extra love and a side of passion for yours truly. Sexy princess. <laughs> Sorry, Chi. I probably should have stepped in and put that creeper in his place. No, Mr. Mouth! Who does that disgusting little weirdo think he is? Wearing those dumb sunglasses inside, and so much cologne I'll be smelling it all day. Ugh. He won't win. That's right. Huh? We'll have workable intel on the enemy soon. I dispatched my top spy. Really? <laughs> I will not let you down, my dear king. 
I shall thoroughly investigate some tucky fried chicken and bring those vile intruders to justice. I am a hungry girl. I can tell you that much for sure. Salutations. Have you completed your service for the day? Did you seriously end up just buying more yukata? Where'd you even get that kind of money? It was quite simple, really. I had some easily converted assets, which I took to a resale shop called Mugihyo. Oh, this is the real deal. And I'm sure they didn't lowball someone as wise to the ways of the world as you. And look here. I got my own card, too. Please double-check the amount and enter your method of payment. <laughs> if you would like a pay yeah. copy of your receipt, please select the green yes button. Please, what more do you want from me? Yeah, great job. So, Emmy, I'm guessing this girl is a friend of yours? Uh, well, she's more like a, you know, let's just go with that. I've waited here all day because I would make another request of you, good Emmy. Oh, yeah? I would like to go see Good Sadao's workplace. Would you accompany me? This is maybe not the time. Sadao, I feel like I know that name. I realize you don't want me getting too close to Please it, but unfortunately for you, I cannot simply step aside. <gasps> so, spill the beans. Oh, yes, this is my life now. scandal here. I know, I'm like way butting in. But you can't work these dramas out on your own, you know. You need a third party to be an impartial judge. Your goal is not like that. Them. Don't worry, girls, I'm on the case. Where is this Mr. Sadao? He works at the McDonald's near Hatagaya Station. Oh, well, the train will have us there in no time. Yeah, okay, there's this huge crowd, but something's kind of odd. Look at that McDonald's we came all the way to see. I mean, it's practically deserted. What is going on? This is no place for proper drama. Without a busy restaurant, how are we going to make things super awkward? On top of that, with no one around, this jerk might get wise to what's about to happen to it, which would defeat the whole purpose. Mm. Luckily. The perfect place is standing right over there. SFC. That's where we can convene our council of war. Rika's maybe enjoying this a little too much. Right here, miss. And it was indeed a crime. 
to keep such a lovely lady waiting. Yeah, he's like one of those guys you figure might be a good catch, but then he's way more creepy than even he realizes. I mean, what are those glasses about and all that cologne? You're not making sense. Sorry. Never mind. Let's go find a table. Hmm? Okay. I think the best place for us to start is at the very beginning, girls. His name is Sadao Mao, right? Come on, don't hold anything back, either of you. I want to know it all. To me, he's my neighbor at my new boarding house. I can safely say he is a good neighbor. Oi, this girl. I want for you to join me in my quest to eliminate King Satan and then return home with me. All that, now he's a good neighbor? Well, she's cool as a cucumber, I'll give her that much. And you, Emmy? Oh, I'd happily kill him first chance I got if that gives you a clue. Conflicting opinions. But you do have that tendency to put up a front, Emmy. Look, Rika, I'm gonna be perfectly frank. There is nothing between Mao and me, and there never will be. I have completely different reasons for not wanting him and Susano to be together, so get it straight and get it out of your thick skull. We are not fighting over him, understood? Perfectly. See, this is that front I was just telling you about. Why are you so set on the two of us being some sort of item to begin with? It seriously pisses me off. That man is cruel, cagey, greedy, and insensitive. He's beyond broke and acts like you owe him for some random umbrella and has no common sense whatsoever! I would not say such things if I were you! Ashia? What are you doing here? Ashia sure is taking his sweet time with his mission. You want me to exhaustively consume all the fried chicken options at this new Kentucky place? Technically, it's not just about eating. It would be one thing if you wanted me to exhaustively consume all the offerings of the fried food flash sale at the supermarket near the station where I can get it for half off. But unfortunately, our army does not have the financial reserves to contribute to the sales of your present nemesis. We cannot waste money on SFC! Will you just listen to me? These methods are being employed for a good reason. To win the battle, we must know our enemy. Are you telling me my top advisor has forgotten that? I have not, sire. I'm not saying to simply eat. I want you to eat in an exhaustive investigation of their strengths, weaknesses, and everything in between. <laughs> the expense is necessary for my rise to power. Help me. Since you feel that strongly about it, sire, far be it from me to refuse you or buckets and buckets of fried chicken. However, I, Shiro Ashia, will make certain my thoroughgoing investigation employs the minimum possible expenditure. Ashia! Sire, you can count on me! Ashia! Gag me. I know I said exhausted, but it's taking too long. Mr. Mao? Uh, hey, Chi, what's up? I just finished up all of the chores on my list for the day. What next? Oh. Yeah, right. Let me think. Wow, everyone seems really bumped. Well, I guess that's not a huge surprise. There's a pretty decent-sized crowd having fun outside thanks to the Star Festival. But look how empty our restaurant is compared to that stupid SFC. What do I do? I can't just keep twiddling my thumbs. So, you think maybe we should stand outside and invite people to eat over here instead? Soliciting customers. Could work, but it might be better to wait on intel from Ashia. The critical delivery isn't here yet, so how can we get the public's attention? Should I make a move now? No. I mustn't make a move now. I can't predict this battle at all. I'm on the front lines of a fast food war. Why is it so complicated? You okay, Mo? We know you're shift manager tonight, but you don't have to take care of everything yourself. We can help. That's right. I command an entire army again. If I show fear, unrest will spread amongst my men. Now is not the time to act! At the moment, the tides are merely in their favor. But worry not, those tides will turn again, so we shall wait. And in the meantime, we will prepare for our moment to shine. <laughs> Polish the windows! Yes, sir! All that please, tides. Move quickly. You were the last person I expected to see in this place. And also, why the heck were you hiding from us? I wasn't hiding. I noticed you when you came in and hoped to avoid making a scene. That said, I cannot allow you to abuse the master of my house in such a disrespectful manner. It would stain my honor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. You being here is a perfect opportunity. Yashia, I need your help real quick. It's a matter of dignity. Yours and Mao's. You what? Why should I help you with anything ever? Like, ever, ever? Okay, I'm sure you're here to research this place. You have to be. You can get whatever you want on me. Well, uh, if you insist. I swear, you must be the greediest, cheapest creature in existence. Don't get the wrong idea, hero. I have a responsibility to prioritize the household budget above all else. And for that duty, I shall bear any indignity. I shall suffer any disgrace. You shall be an idiot. <laughs> 
At any rate, due to budget constraints, I was unable to research salads and desserts. With your help, I shall be able to order each one of them. Um, help me out, Emmy. I'm a little lost. Is he your friend? Absolutely not! Ah! I don't know who you are, miss, but in terms of this group's relationships, I am Miss Kamazuki's neighbor and Emmy Yusa's nothing. Pleased to meet you. I'm Shiro Ashia. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm one of Emmy's co-workers. My name is Rika Suzuki. Hold on a sec. If you're Suzuno's neighbor, that means you live with Sadao Mao, right? Yes, that's right. You have the pleasure of knowing him, Miss Suzuki? No, but I do want to know everything about him. From the beginning? No, not the sort of everything you might be worried about, Ashia. It's fine. Basically, this is about a man Emmy doesn't want other girls getting close to, so I want to know why and what makes him such a bad catch. I'm sorry, what is she talking about exactly? I'm honestly not so sure myself anymore. So he's a man she doesn't want other girls getting close to, huh? Interesting. A matter of dignity indeed. It seems you have let the cat out of the bag, hero. Nice. Well, the truth is... And apologies, Miss Kamazuki, I haven't told you this yet either. But Mao and I once ran a very successful company together. Uh, what? A company? Um, Ashia? You don't know what he's talking about, do you? That doesn't make sense. You look a little young to have run a business. How old are you anyway? The main focus of our company was real estate management, with occasional forays into construction and odd jobs. But we discovered our true passion was in personnel placement. We had such a great name. The Mao Syndicate! Mao Syndicate? Personnel placement, my butt! And Miss Yusa. She worked for a rival company. Emmy? You had an actual career in construction before? So then how old are you? Um, it's kind of a long story, I guess. If I recall correctly, you were just a temp at the time. What? I see. So you're saying the hero is a temp worker. Yeah, you are not helping. Though we had our fingers in many pies, we were still fairly small. So management had to command our teams on site. But Yusa had both skill and the support of her own company. More often than not, she was the one competing with us for clients. We were all so young and all with the same level of experience. That was smack in the middle of the recession, too. Thus, with a major firm taking business out from under us, our little company went down like a house of cards. The last person to ever battle us for a job was her. We lost, and the company went bankrupt. We drifted, eventually winding up in our small, nondescript apartment. Then, almost a year later, we saw Miss Yusa again. And that's it. I imagine she has complex feelings, too. Her failed competitors from the past, she still manages to check in on us every now and again. Oh, I see. But Mao has not given up on his dream of running a successful business. Currently, he is working intensely at McRonald's to learn all he can about management from the ground up. It only took him a year to be appointed shift manager. And now, I am forced to play housewife all day long. Oh, how far I have fallen. Yet still, we intend to start a brand new business with Mao as chairman very soon, and I shall do all in my power to support our dream. Entrepreneurship, however, is a gamble. Knowing that kind of risk is part of our lives, I can understand why Yusa did not want Miss Kamazuki to get too close to us, lest she become unexpectedly dragged into that gamble as well. It's far too late for that. I'm more dragged into it now. He's stubborn. He sees Yusa as an enemy and thus hates her on a fundamental level. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I doubt the sort of thing you're imagining about them would ever happen. Wow, that is very impressive. I can't get over how we're all around the same age. Now I'm the jerk for having such a nutty idea and blowing it all out of proportion. What the heck, Emmy? Why didn't you mention any of this? Well, it's not like you ever would have listened. My family actually runs a small factory, and whenever times get really tough, which believe me they do, we pull through it by working together. I know you said you feel fallen, but the truth is Mao needs you so he can work. He eats all the meals you make, sleeps on the futon you air out, and wears the underwear you've washed for him, right? Yes. Then you're the foundation of this whole operation, and I think you need to be prouder of yourself. I don't know, I just have this feeling that since you guys are so supportive of each other, things are going to work out for you. It's funny you're the first person who's ever said something like that to me. Thank you for the encouragement. I feel a bit stronger for it. <laughs> Rika? No! What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, what, what, what is right? What in the world has come over you? Oh, uh, nothing, 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 nothing! <laughs> she said nothing five times. I mean, wow! Everybody's got a past! Uh, anyway, this should clear up all your misunderstandings, so why don't we go home? No way! Now I'm personally invested in sizing up Mao. <laughs> For starters, if he's really that gifted, I should probably go ahead and network with the guy, just in case. Network? 
you're a nutcase. So, Ashia, you have to report on the enemy, yeah? Let's go over together. Yeah, how about no? All of us, together, Yusa. But not before I obtain one of those maple biscuits as well as a salad with an extra side of Thousand Island dressing. To go, please. Hey, wait, an extra Kamasuki, side? Miss thank you for your help. Allow me to treat you to dessert. Ugh, I hate this day so much. Just when I think today couldn't possibly suck anymore, it totally does. Why so serious, miss? You cannot allow things in life to trouble you, or you won't be able to enjoy your delicious Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, thanks, I guess. No matter how much one worries, whether we like it or not, things change over time. Whatever it is you've got going on right now will end up completely out of your control. So the sooner you accept that, the better it'll be for everyone. This is the first time I've been given unsolicited advice on life by a fast food worker. Oh, I apologize for being presumptuous. But if I might share just one more thing, men have a tendency to take advantage of women who appear vulnerable. You should be on your guard at all times. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you so much for visiting today. Please come back and see us again soon. Great. They're giving out grand opening coupons. That's right, and I did try their food. Their trademark fried chicken is incredibly good. And depending on the part of the chicken you order, you can even eat the bones. Even bones? Wait, I don't think humans normally do that. There's more, sire. Evidently, they're serving organic coffee. Coffee made from ogres? Why? Organic, sire. It means grown with natural pesticides. But ogres are already full of natural pestilence. Luckily, apart from those small discrepancies, there is not much difference. Customer service was fairly average. I imagine the only reason they have such a crowd is that humans are hopelessly dazzled by new things. I see. In any case, we can at least try putting up a good fight. Thank you for the information. Though it is appreciated, sire, I hardly deserve your thanks. I know it's not much, but let me contribute to your sales. I require two Big Mig combos, both with cheese and both with large soft drinks. Arushahara will most surely complain, but this will be our dinner tonight. If he complains about the food, you have my permission to give him a good beating. Will do. Before I go, you can expect great things from those young ladies. Oh, good. I'm not really sure what that means. Well, sire, I pray for your success in battle. Wow, okay. First of all, they seem really tight, and then beyond that, he's so professional. You're surrounded by amazing people. Oh, can I count myself among the gifted ones? Why not? Knock yourself out. These seats are much harder than Kentucky's. Um, excuse me, ladies. Yeah, what? We'd appreciate it if you'd sit down only after you've placed an order up front. Uh, okay, how about a small iced coffee then? Happy Mao? Again, kind miss, we like customers to order at the register, up front. While you're at it, I'll order an apple pie too, and you can bring it to the table to show some gratitude. Yeah, still not... So you're the Sadao Mao. Somehow you aren't as charismatic as I was hoping you'd be. Sure didn't expect the restaurant to be empty with you in charge. Why would you say something like that? Who do you think you are, lady? You know, mister, I don't really appreciate your tone. You want me to complain to corporate? I don't mind letting them know about you. Oh, shut it. Restaurants have rules that even customers have to follow. Besides, who are you to threaten me? I'm Rika Suzuki, and Emmy and I happen to be co-workers. I got your number. These two ladies and your friend Mr. Ashia told me quite a bit about you. Ashia? When? What did he say? <laughs> oh, he only had wonderful things to say, but Emmy seems to find you the complete opposite of wonderful. So I decided to check you out and see for myself. Since I honestly don't understand what you're saying or why you're here, I'm just gonna go with you being nosy. <sighs> Not sure which is worse, no customers or Emmy being Come here. Come on, Mr. Mao. You shouldn't talk like that. Miss Yusa is a valuable customer. Here, I brought you your iced coffee and a yummy apple pie fresh out of the oven. Thank you, Chiho. And I'm sorry, you know how I get around him. Don't worry about it, I understand. Good, Chiho. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. Hope all's well. Oh, we haven't met. Are you Miss Yusa's friend? Yes. We work together. I'm Rika Suzuki. Nice to meet you. I'm Chiho Sasaki. Miss Yusa has been nothing but kind to me. She's adorable. Pardon? For real, this little girl is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Rika, oh, stop what? being a weirdo. It's totally not fair how many awesome people you have in your life, Emmy. This precious little thing is too sweet and works your poor little tushy off. That's it. I'm stealing your from You're acting like a drunk old pervert. Stop it. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Chiho. I just get a little carried away. Can't help myself. Oh, that's cool. It was super confusing. Well, 
What are you gonna do? Got a plan? What? Didn't you just tell Mr. Ashia that you would try to put up a fight or something? Listen, I'm gonna be straight with you. I wanna see you work your magic, so get to it. You have major daddy issues, don't you? Emmy has Mr. Ashia, Chiho, and me. I mean, this girl has got a lot of talented people in her life. I'm sitting here choosing to believe you're not the idiot you appear to be, so prove me right. Just to be sure we're on the same page here, are you implying I look stupid? Implying's maybe not a strong enough word. How dare you! Bye! To hell with this FC's coupons! Time to fight flyers with flyers! Come on in and try some delicious McDonald's food! Come on in! Food. You know you want to! It's no good! What?! Then we advertise that our food's easier to eat since it doesn't have any bones! Shiho, go! Come what? Come on! Try a Big Mac burger! They don't have any bones and the eating's easy! Isn't it fairly normal for hamburgers not to have any bones? That was funny! <laughs> You're a silly girl! Silly and cute! It didn't work! I know. No more Mr. Nice Mal Kawachi. It is time for us to begin Operation Let People Use the Restroom Even If They Don't Buy Anything. Uh, isn't that actually still nice? This is depressing. Hey, there's the guy I'm looking for. Mr. Nabe! Oh, God, you finally made it! Well, it was a request from you, Mal, so I couldn't refuse. I'm sorry it took me longer than I thought. No problem. You're a lifesaver. Oh, and please, you have to stay and eat. Whatever you want is on me. Thanks for the offer, but my wife said she's making me dinner. And since you're on my last delivery, I'm gonna head on home. See you on the next cleaning day. Say hi to Miss Kizuki. Amazing. He gave us really nice ones. Let's hurry up and decorate before the dinner rush starts. Yeah, this is awesome. Well, got some more for you. I'm not sure if we have enough ornaments. If not, we can use the flyers. Is it really okay to use those to make more ornaments? As the current shift manager, I say you bet it is. What's going on? Mr. Mao came up with a super cool idea thanks to the Star Festival. He thought it would be fun to have our customers write wishes on strips of paper and decorate the trees with them. Then the really smart part was when he got our manager to make a request from Regional. They're letting us give a complimentary small drink to any customers who decide they want to participate. He got the trees from that older guy who came in earlier. They met a while back volunteering for neighborhood cleanup together. Mr. Mao found out Mr. Nabe grows bamboo in his yard, so they worked out a deal. Hang on. Mao volunteers for neighborhood cleanup? Of course, we can't be sure if this would directly affect our sales tonight, but at least everyone here seems to be in a better mood, so not a total loss. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a hard worker. No way. How pretty. This is the McDonald's with that cute girl who makes funny quotes. I saw her pick on Twitter. Oh, wait, you saw me where? Mommy, I didn't write a wish and put it up too. Get out. Look at what a couple of bamboo trees can do for the feng shui. I gotta redecorate. Guys, assume your battle stations. War is upon us. Fried chicken might steal all our customers again. I have to go tell corporate about our 80% sales drop. No way we want to freeze our butts off in Greenland, right? <sighs> hey, Ma. <coughs> I want you to help out another restaurant. No! Uh, Please don't do this to me. I made our sales go plus some, just like you said. What? It's a fun place. Huh? Besides, you're not in trouble. My friend manages the Hushimayan store and wants to borrow one of my best workers. Oh, that makes sense. Don't thank me just yet. That joint's gonna be out of control busy. The park is opening a bunch of new rides and attractions, so we'll cover all your expenses and give you a small bonus for your trouble. So yeah, think you're up for the job? Of course, ma'am. Oh, oh, can I go with? That's all right. They can manage without you. Aw, but I wanna. I'm counting on you, Ma. You're my top crew member, so don't Who's share with me now. Huh? You got it.
what you're saying. Yep. You're eating too much too fast, and you're not fully recovered. Ease up or you'll make yourself worse. Sire. The noodles will expire any day now. We have to consume as many of them as we possibly can. But thank you very much for your concern. She's right. The amusement park near that other McDonald's is reopening tomorrow, and they're rolling out a bunch of cool attractions, so it looks like they're expecting a big crowd. Quit surfing on the interwebs and start helping us slurp down Whoa. some noodles. They got a wicked new reptile exhibit there. Dude, over 300 different species. Sounds like you'll be busy, sire. Yeah. Whoa! The new haunted house is supposed to be scarier than Labyrinth of Shocks, and everyone says that's the scariest one they've ever seen. So if a whole bunch of people are going to a crazy, scary haunted house, that means there's probably going to be a buttload of concentrated fear ripe for the taking. You could get some magic. Then I shall assist you. I will be there to watch over you with true zeal. Don't worry, sire. With me by your side, nothing can go wrong. Wait, you're going to? Yes, it's my duty. <laughs> You stay at home and try not to burn the place to the ground. Now what? Want pizza. Give me money. Absolutely not. Such extravagance is not allowed in this house. You will eat these noodles and that is the end of it. You will then wash the dishes. Dude, no. How old are those noodles? They've got to be turning a little south by now. Tastes perfectly fine to me. Do not waste them. There are starving children somewhere. Yeah, whatever, Mom. Hello? Hey, Chiho, what's up? Oh? Yeah. An amusement park, huh? Sure, why not? I've got the day free tomorrow. Awesome. It should be a lot of fun. And thank you so much. I'm glad you're coming along, Miss Yusa. Going by myself might have been kind of weird. Cool. I'll meet you there, then. I wish I could have gone with Mr. Mao, but oh well. <laughs> Hello? The devil is traveling to Hushimayan tomorrow. I'm certain he plans to collect magic. What? I thought he was helping at another McRonald's. I see word has already reached you then, Amelia. Yeah, Chiho told me. I'm going to take the train up there tomorrow, too. She wanted some company. And that doesn't make any sense. How can he collect magic at an amusement park? What do you think he's up to? You're too trusting, you know. A healthy amount of suspicion might do you some good. It would be prudent if I joined you at this park. Yeah, whatever. And I'll let Chiho know you're tagging along so she isn't caught off guard. The hero trusts him. But why? Hi, my name's Sadao Mao. I'm from the Hatagaya store, and I'm here to help out today. Good to meet you all. Kisaki's told me quite a bit about you. Says you're one of her best. I'll do everything I can to live up to your expectations, ma'am. Great. Today's gonna be a super busy day, people, so bring your A-games. Yes, ma'am! Mocha, 
two small burgers, one all the way, one no pickles, no lettuce, please. Thank you, come again. Nice job, Mal. Alrighty, who's up next? Hey, Chief! Hi, Mr. Mal, how's it going? Um, I'd like to order three big meat meals, if that's okay. <clears throat> of course, here at McDonald's, we aim to please. Thanks! Three big big combos! I came to hang out at the park. Oh, cool. Good luck with the crowd. You're gonna do amazing. Yeah, thanks. So, um... <laughs> do you like it? Like what? Ah. Well, this store's definitely a lot busier than the one we work at. The customers never stop coming, so it's been good practice for me. Oh, uh, yes, of course. What doesn't kill you, am I right? Uh, yes, of course. I should have seen this one coming. You really are clueless. What are you two doing here? Well, last time I checked, we hardworking office ladies are free to do whatever we want to on our days off. Yeah, great. I have not come here seeking pleasure. I'm here to learn how people have fun. Yeah, great. Are you gonna croak? Not gonna lie, you look like a dookie. No, I'm fine. Nothing I can't handle. If I were you, I'd take some meds. It's just a stomach ache. I don't need alchemy. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I intended to assist King Satan in his collection of magic, and now look at me. I'm such a disgrace. Truly pathetic. Take it easy. Stressing out only makes it worse. Seriously, you're already stuck at home anyway. Either just stay in there or stay in bed. <laughs> Dude, don't die, okay? Wow, this place is like crazy crowded. I know, it's like everyone and their mom's here to check out all the new stuff opening. You mean like that haunted house over there? Yep, I hear it's pretty intense. So, should we go get in line? Yes, let's. You could get some magic. I have several reasons to be interested. <laughs> Took off, wimp. I suppose we should venture on without her then. Chiho, uh, is that? No, not her. It appears to be someone else. Hello, are you all right, child? Why are you crying? She's gone. Gone? Who's gone? My mama. Where is she? She's gone. All right. Would you like to come with us then? She's gone. My mama. She's gone. She's she's gone. She's gone. My mama. She's gone. Gone. My mom. My mom. Gone. Hey. My mama. Wait. My mom. Gone. Gone. It's it's mama. fit with my understanding of what you call fun. Shall we give this a chance? Uh, hey, Chiho. It's not too late to turn back. Uh, no. I'll go in if you guys will. Okay. Though I really don't mind not going. No. We've come too far to chicken out now. Yeah, right. Hm. Perhaps you're the one who's a bit afraid, Emmy. Uh, me? Please. I just don't like reptiles, that's all. I'm not a big fan either. Huh? It's so gross how they come creeping in. 
Yeah, gross is right. I hate him with a fiery passion. Totally. Still, it appears they have a rather large variety. I do hope they're edible. Uh Wait, you said edible. You like to eat reptiles? Yes, they're delicious. What? When have you done that? Oh, many times. But my first was on a journey to the south. South of where? A persuasive acquaintance of mine told me I would deeply regret it if I did not sample the lizard, so I was left with no alternative. I would have said no. I did protest at first, but she was so adamant about how tasty it was. Oh, yuck. I can't eat it. The inn prided itself on serving every single part of the lizard, from the head all the way down to the tip of the tail. I have to admit, the lizard tail soup was truly wonderful. No. The broth was salty and rich, and the chunks of tail were quite delectable. Grotesque to look at, but honestly, I think it's Ente Isla's finest dish. <laughs> remarkable. Why are you telling her about Ente Isla? Have you lost your mind? Uh, I've misstepped. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am? When you're finished with those, can you make some in-park deliveries? Ma'am!
So what's up? Did you get any magic yesterday? Hmm, hard to say whether I got some or just used some up. Urushihara is a fool. Nothing he says is to be relied upon under any circumstances. Oh, sire, I'm so very sorry for interrupting your meal. I'm so rude. I kinda hurt just looking at you. I am in pain, true, but I shall recover. Oh, he just ate too much. Silence, rogue! Do not mock me! Special delivery! Yes! Yeah! No, I'll get it! Uh, crap! Stupid legs fell asleep! One second! Wait, I'll no. be right there! Oh, get it! Get it! Get it. I got a delivery for Mr. Hanzo Urushihara. What, really? Jungle.co. Uh, well, you see, this is, uh... This so is like what? Taste it. Cough it up! Managed to go shopping. Yeah, just stay here. I'll take care of dinner tonight. Sire! Yet again, you shower me with your kindness. Such a hopeless servant does not deserve you. We've got some rice left. Maybe I can mix that with an egg. Great. Emmy again. Special delivery! Son of a bastard! Did you go behind my back and place more orders online? No, I did not. And if I did, I'd have had them delivered while you were gone. Have a nice day! I found lots of wonderful things in Hawaii. So would you sell them for me at the Neighborhood Association Summer Bazaar? <coughs> One, two, three, not it. You... <coughs> hey, either complain or cough, but pick one. <coughs> it's you. Yes, I remember you from the church. You are... Crestia Bell, the Death Scythe. Thank you. 
units, and then they can owe us one. <sighs> no, it wouldn't make much difference. The enemy force is too large. The most intelligent course of action is to just pretend we never heard about it in the first place. Following such a strategy will let the world know the church failed to protect the village, allowing doubt to set in. Our Federation will then be able to take advantage of the mess and proceed with our plans to subdue Satan. Right, and we will lose only one minor village in the process. A sacrifice well worth it if we can win back the people. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, no! It's in the mine! <laughs> as efficient as always. I'm impressed. Now wipe off all that blood. A portion of the blame for the Knight's inability to band together against Satan's army lies with the Church. Why does no one try to compromise? We should not be at war with each other. Do not think above your pay grade, dear. Your only concern is your duty as the Bailiff of the Inquisition. A questioning spirit is a prideful one. Here is the next list of heretics. In the end, it was the hero who saved the world. We were just part of the problem. What? The amusement park? Did you go with Mao? Why would you jump to that conclusion? You mean you didn't? Okay, well, I guess technically I did see him there. But I hope it's Chiho and Suzano, not him. You can keep denying it all you want, but I still think Mal the shift manager is on your mind. Am I right? If you want the truth, Suzano's the one most on my mind at the moment. Sorry to burst your bubble. Good afternoon! Oh, gee, we've been waiting for you. Um, Mr. Mal? What's going on? Our landlady sent all this junk from Hawaii. She said to sell it in the summer bazaar at the shopping arcade. Apologies, Miss Sasaki. I'm afraid we had to bother you because of me. I'm still rather ill. Watch it, yo! Be careful with those boxes! Uh, oh, are you all right, Mr. Oshia? Having help is fine, I get it. But are you sure we're even gonna have enough room in here? You know, Vimmy coming over too. What? How do you know she's coming? Because I planted a tracker in her purse. Like forever ago. Yeah, she's gonna kill you. What on earth is wrong with her anyway? We're busy, wacko! Huh? Oh, you're at that door. Why should I have to help you out with this weird sale? It's not like I live here. I only came over to check on Susano. Speaking of weird, Emmy, I don't understand why you feel I need to be checked on. I'm gonna go back to our place. I'm a hermit, remember? I have a strict role. You're helping. It'll be fine so long as you don't leave the building. I didn't think our landlady could freak me out more than she already has. But what's she doing with a bikini top like this? Well, I actually think this one's kind of cute. Yeah, it kind of is. Maybe I should buy it. Doubt it'll fit. Shut up, Oh, there's food too. Pineapples, macadamia chocolates. Ew, spam. Oh, and there's juice. This note says she wants us all to eat the food together. Ugh, lame. What's guava juice? Why don't we try it? Oh. I'll go get cups. You know where they are, right? I think so. I don't believe that's how you open it. Watch your eyes, everyone. That cork's about to fly. Oops. What that's... is your problem? Here, this will help some. Uh What's wrong? Oh, um, it's a nothing. I really am sorry. I can only find five, Mr. Mao. Well, none for Orushihara, then. Dude, why not? There are exactly five of us. Me, Emmy, Susanoo, Chi, and Ashi is not dead yet. How 
how about you stick to water? I might have seen a used to go cup. Yeah, what the crap? Why do you guys keep treating me like the plague? What did I do to deserve this? You guys suck so much. Whew. Thanks, you were all a massive help today. Oh, no worries, it was fun. Just like the day before my school's culture fest. Yeah, it seems the prep for stuff like this always gets people more excited than the actual event, you know? Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Mm -hmm. Not at all. I was just thinking. It's been years since I've had the time to enjoy a proper festival. Well, in that case, we have to hang out and enjoy it. We'll do the prep first, and then go check out the rest. I would love to, but I gotta head out. I work tonight, so I've gotta get ready. Okay, have a good shift. We can finish up what's left for you. Jeez, Chiho, you don't have to spoil the poor idiot. Why do you waste time with silly festival preparations? You need to carry out the objective. If the devil regains his magic, it will be too late. I know, but... I believe we're past hesitation. Your hands have been thoroughly stained with blood already, have they not? Oh. Curse Saint Air. Always so self-righteous the moment there's peace. Their current goal is to prevent us our rightful access to the rebuilding of the Central Lands. They will exploit any weakness to come after us. How did they acquire the assassinated nobleman's corpse? Not to mention the transcript of the trial proceedings from the Cathedral. What has the Prince Bishopric of Bell been doing? It may seem wise to let our lead bailiff take the fall, but I don't think handing her over would change the situation. After all, the Inquisition conducts a number of unfair trials without her. What do you suggest we do? The hero Amelia is a former knight of the church who defeated the Devil's army with the assistance of the High Priest Olba. I would imagine that means the people owe this peacetime to the church. Not so fast! You are still the ones who made the trial severe and unfair to begin with, and those actions will not be left unpunished! One of us should most assuredly take the blame. Nonsense. Why should we be blamed when the High Priest Olba was in charge of the trials, and now that he's conveniently disappeared on us? We have no reason to take responsibility. <laughs> exactly. To avoid delays in trying the heretics while the Grand Inquisitor is absent, Father Robertio will establish a doctrinal correction council and transfer all officers of the Inquisition to it. The Inquisition will be suspended until the return of Father Olva. Under this new leadership, the council shall conduct fairer trials. That should be a sufficient story to feed the kingdoms. It is always this way. They refuse to discipline themselves, out of shame and fear of damage to the institution. They keep their hands from getting dirty, while stealing their glory from others. I... I never wanted to execute anyone. For the last time, Belle, you have a job to finish. Kill the devil. He shall die. I swear it. Miss Susano! 
Please, where is all this coming from? How could you want to kill him? Listen to me. Don't you remember how as soon as the devil decorated those trees for the festival, your McDonald's was suddenly flooded with customers? What do you think that means? That he's good? It means he used magic. <laughs> those slips of paper were filled with human desires and then tied to bamboo to exercise the bad energy. Satan subconsciously used that whole thing as a medium for casting a spell. He only wanted customers to come in so the store would do well. I mean, yes, I guess cheating isn't exactly fair, but still. Not so bad if that were all. But there's no guarantee he won't start making more dangerous magic and hurting people in the process. No, Mr. Mao would never do that! Remember those alligators in the pool? What do you think will happen if the devil works his way up in this world? What if everybody ends up trusting and respecting him like you do? It'll be the perfect opportunity for him to betray us all. I don't think so. You don't? No offense, but uh, do you really think getting a promotion at a fast food joint means he's capable of taking over an entire world? Demons live a long time. We have no idea how elaborate his plans are. We should kill him now while we still can. No, please! I realize this must be painful. But we are from an entirely different world, Gachiho. You and Satan should never even have met. The best course now is to erase your memory and eliminate all traces of Intei Isla from this land. Chiho? Erase my memory? Why? Why would you do something like that? I don't want to forget about all of you. Not Mr. Mao or Miss Yusa or Mr. Ashia or you. Or even Mr. Orochihara! We were lucky enough to become friends! And we've gone through so much together! But now you want to make me forget part of my life because of your precious anti-Isla? That's not fair! What about me? The situation is not about you, Chiho. That said, taking advantage of your feelings may actually be part of his plan. He might be trying to sow seeds of doubt and confusion. I'm telling you, he's just not like that! Why would you say such horrible things? He's worked hard, and he's been so nice to everyone. So how can you do this? How can you defend him? The devil has killed thousands in Ente Isla. He's the ruler of demons. But did you know so much? Tell me something. Did you ever meet him before he came to this world and turned into my friend, Sadal Mao? You only fought with his army. You never even met him in person, so how would you know anything about him? False logic. Every commander bears full responsibility for the actions of his troops! If he was evil and plotting to do all the things you think he's doing, then why would he bother saving people and fixing the expressway after it collapsed? There must have been an ulterior motive. Something to do with his nefarious plan. What reason is there other than just being an actual nice guy? When a good person causes someone else problems, they apologize and then try to fix the situation. Mao did what good people do. Did you know? I learned everything about my job from him. He has taught me so much. When I screwed up, which I did a lot, he always made me feel better. He's kept his promises too. Even when he turned back into a demon, I wanted to learn how to use the ice cream machine, and he remembered. If you still think he wants to take over the world with his army, well, I'm sure he must have a pretty good reason to do it. But you believe we should just forgive and forget all the atrocities and horrible things he's done to us? Just pretend it never happened. Is that what you want us to do? Calm down, both of you. <laughs> Crestia Bell. To be perfectly honest, I agree with you. And join However, me. I don't agree with all of it. I hope for a peace that will allow every person to be happy, not just a select few. And that peace is what I've been fighting for all this time. Looking the other way while we make our friends cry is not acceptable. Believe me, the means don't always justify the end, and I won't allow you to behave as though they do. You cannot truly be serious. I am. Then you're dreaming. There's no way we can win this without someone getting hurt. I'll find one. Sacrifices will have to be made. This is war. No one needs to suffer. I'll figure it out. I am a hero after all. It's what I do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. So right now you have no intention of defeating the devil? Nope. Not right now. Understood. Uh, Miss Susano? I think I went too far. I don't know anything about Ente Isla, so how can I understand where she's coming from? 
I wish I hadn't have been so mean. Don't worry. Susano realizes we don't always get to choose who we fall in love with. You think so? Uh you again! <laughs> and just like last time, it's like you have a thing for attacking me out in the open. I suppose it doesn't really matter, though. This won't take long. Careful, things might get rough! She hasn't been by here. While I've got you, I investigated that SFC place. For a chicken joint, it smells fishy. What does that mean? Well, you said the manager's name was Mitsuki Saraway, right? That name is not on their employee list anywhere. Seriously? Yeah, the data's been manipulated. You planted that tracker on Emmy. Is it still on her? Can you tell me where she is right now? Give me just a sec. That's creepy. She's moving in a straight line, through buildings. Wait, I'm wrong. It's not Amelia, it's Susano. Where's she headed? Looks like government building? My fee will cost. Even if I do manage to get better, I can never again look his majesty in the eye. Ah! <laughs> well, well. Look who's back among the living. Yes, well, kind miss. I just want to be clear about one minor detail. I'm correct in assuming you take public health insurance, yes? Oh, don't worry about that. For now, we need to give you a little more Thank medicine. Thank you! What's this? Excuse me, are you alright, sir? A policeman? What is going on here? Suzuka.
to hand. All you have to do is stop resisting and hand over better half. It's not materializing, so what do you expect me to do? If you want to know what I think, I'd say the sword is rejecting you. By all rights, the sacred sword shouldn't be in the hands of a mere human being. Therefore, we must take it back once and for all. This is Heaven's collective will. Either way, Chiho's got nothing to do with this. Please, let her go. Sorry, but I'm afraid I can't do that. She's a precious specimen, this one. A human who loves the devil, even after learning the truth of who he really is. She'll serve as our lab rat, and through her, we will discover what impact the devil's power has on the human ecosystem. You're sick, you know that? You watch your tongue, human. None may speak in such a manner to the great Archangel Sario. <laughs> Understand since you've never had a job. But try anyway. McRonald's uniforms are given to employees on loan. If I damage one in a non work situation, then it'll come out of my paycheck. And the Devil's Castle is running pretty low on treasure. <laughs> Choice. I used up my magic. 
magic destroying the barrier. What's wrong? You not gonna fight me? Well, in that case, I'm just gonna go. She's waiting for me. It's no use. You can't defeat him. Not the way you are right now. Great, so you are working with someone. Who is it? The Archangel, Sariel. Lovely. But thanks. Emmy couldn't take him down either. The moon is his source. The closer he gets to it, the more powerful he is. With no magic, you don't have a chance. It would be pointless to even try. So what? You're gonna run? I don't get why you won't! Because it's my job. She works under me. I've got to make sure she's looked after. Plus, I don't abandon my people and run. I do have some dignity left. And let's be real. You're counting on me too, right? To do what? To put the screws to your pal Sariel. <laughs> That's why you didn't stop Chi from calling me, isn't it? So that I'd take him out? No. I mean, I only meant to... Well, it's all the same to me. Why? Why would a demon like him act this way? He's supposed to be the bad guy. If caring for his friends makes him evil... And so am I. From now on, I'm fighting for my dignity, too. What is Mal doing? I bet he's gotten himself mixed up in some kind of trouble again. So yeah, what else is new? Huh? Said Mal? He didn't bail on Amelia and leave her to deal. Coming. Is there a problem down it? Uh, Olba. Good to see you, Lucifer. How have you been? You got out, huh? You look like you're doing well. As do you. Not a bad setup you have here, my friend. I like it okay. Tell me, how would you like to go back to heaven? I know you want to, Lucifer. And I can make that wish come true. sword won't reveal itself after you've endured this much torture. I suppose I have no choice but to remove it from your body directly. What are you talking about? Hey, wait. What do you think you're doing? Come now. You know precisely no, what I'm don't doing. Touch me. I'm taking the heavenly Stop silver this. that you forms better half straight out of your flesh. You take your hands off of her, you big pervert! Well, look who found her voice. Trust me, little girl. I'm not lusting over flat chest over here. She's not my cup of tea. Flat chest? But you, I'd on the other hand, have more you. of the attributes I'm interested in. I'll have plenty of time for a more thorough examination, but my initial impression is quite positive. You're to pray for me on all redemption, you bucket of crap! Ah! Dirty old man! Minion freak! Filthy peeping tall! You guys are just going too far! I've had all the live I can take from you! You lay so much as a finger on Chiho! And you'll live just long enough to regret it. For someone in your position, you seem quite confident in yourself, hero. You misunderstand. It's not me. You hurt that girl and you will literally have the devil to pay. Is that a fact? Does Amelia the mighty hero rely on the devil to save her skin? That's not what I'm saying. You ran a competing restaurant across the street from McDonald's and you still don't get it? What? That my place was better? That girl is a McDonald's employee. And the devil is her shift manager. If one of their people is in danger, it is the duty and the obligation of the manager to protect her, no matter what the cost. Have you lost your mind, hero? Are you honestly foolish enough to believe that the devil is in any way bound by the conventions of this world? Damn it. This sucks. Elevator. Out of order. So tired. He's not bound by them, you're right. But he still chooses to follow them of his own free will. That's him. The A-level staffer and substitute manager of the Hadagaya McRonald's franchise. The man called Sadao Mao. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. The devil and his hero, like two peas in a pod. Yo! Mr. Mao! Sorry I kept you waiting, Chi. You're naked! Glad to see you're safe, Emmy. Stay away, jerk, and don't look! Oh, come on! I can't believe you'd show your face here. 
And I can't believe the little perfumed dwarf of the manager from SFC is Mr. Gaze from the Fall. I'm not above going undercover to get what I want. The divine silver that forms better half is heaven's most prized possession. I'm taking it back. After all, we can't let the hero hang on to it, can we? Frankly, I couldn't care less about heaven's problems. Trouble is, you decided to mess with my co-worker, so now we have an issue, buddy. How dare you make Chi go through such a frightening experience? He really does care. She is a valued employee of McDonald's. As the devil and as shift manager, I protect those under my charge. It is my job! Who doesn't care? <laughs> what can you do with that frail little body of yours? Hey, 
Gregson. The great Sario will dispose of the devil for us. One last thing. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hand me Amelia's bag. Hmm? Sure. I have no idea why you'd want it, though. Duh. So I can give it back to her. What? If I don't, she'll be one pissed off hero. <laughs> no! You tricked me, you little weasel! on Earth, specifically a one-room, second-floor apartment. My job's done here. You can take it from here, Satan, and give him hell. No, not the moon. Hey, sorry, Hell. I'm a nice guy, so I'll let you pick. Pick what? Run home with your tail between your legs, or get the living crap beaten out of you. What'll it be? That's an easy one. Except I believe you're mistaken about which of us walks away from this. The devil who can only get power by doping himself up with human negativity is nothing to be scared of! Just say thank you. I don't recall asking for your assistance. Whatever, tiny tits. <laughs> Not to 
mention opening a gate to get rid of Sariel. I used up every bit of magic I had. Oh. Hey, Chi, have you seen Ma around? Right here. Kawachi told me something. Is it true last night you grabbed a mop, ran out of the restaurant like a crazy person, and never came back? Yeah, about that. There were extenuating circumstances. Why are you making excuses? The truth is, good Sadao saved us last night. <laughs> Evening. Hmm, looks like Crestia Bell's visiting Mickey R's right now. Your voyeurism is in very poor taste, even if it is for surveillance. Wait! You did not stop it, Amelia? You planted a tracker on Crestia Bell too? How much did that cost us? Dude, how about you stop touching me with your soapy hands? And who might you be? My name is Susan L. Kamazuki. Good Chiho and I were on our way home last night when a deviant attacked us out of the blue and the good Sadao rushed to our location to provide assistance. Yeah, he's a hero! I honestly don't know what would have happened if he hadn't been here to rescue us! You fought off a deviant with a mop. Yeah, he was a bit of a tough customer. <laughs> well, I suppose that does count as extenuating. Excuse me, Miss Kisaki. Some dude just fell out of the walk-in. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But I thought you threw him into the gate. Good Sadao, perhaps that garland you used responded yes. to the devil's magic by opening the other end of the gate inside the restaurant and dropped Sariel off here. Oh, good, he's alive. Are you okay, sir? Not dead or anything? Beautiful. How strange is fortune. I had to travel to another world to meet the goddess of beauty. Oh, goddess, so desperate am I for thy forbidden love that I may fall all the way from heaven. <laughs> okay, who is this freak show? Actually, he manages the SFC. Truth, my beloved, he speaks truth. We are indeed from two irreconcilable organizations, you from McDonald's. I from Kentucky. We are the Romeo and Juliet of the fast food industry. Looks like that fall gave you some brain damage. And I think it might be too late for an ambulance to help. Oh, such kind words from such a beautiful mouth speaking of concern for my health. Sadly, no miracle of medicine can mend a lovesick heart. For me, my goddess, the only cure is your love! <laughs> Down. So, uh, Emmy, 
you seem kind of fired up today. Oh, you think so? You got any plans later? I was thinking we could grab dinner if you want. I would love to, but I can't tonight. Don't tell me you're gonna go check on Mal again. Not check on so much as keep tabs on. Seriously? Don't you think it's past time you two let go of all that negativity and bad blood? Not at all. Huh? Ah! It's complicated, but it's not like a big deal. <laughs> My village gone. My father killed. Why would I ever forgive that? Could I? No. It doesn't matter. I'm a hero and he's the devil. Who knows when he'll be my enemy again, just like in my dream. Knock, knock. What is going on here? Oh, hi, Miss Yusa. Ah, hey! Miss Yusa, now what are you doing? Well, I made an attempt to cook French food earlier, so... He's eating udon confit with sauce americaine. Unbelievable! I already said I'd be making dinner for him today! And Mr. Mel, you're just sitting there going along with this! What? I, uh... What? What? Your real feelings are starting to show. Get that mouth out of this. Fine! Master Mal, whose dinner are you gonna eat? Mine or your enemies? Uh, Budget-wise, it'd help if you both took turns bringing dinner every day. But, you know, it's whatever. Oh, that's not a problem. No, not a problem at all! This is evil incarnate. A word, sire. Yo, Ashiya, finally! Where have you been? I have grave business to discuss. What's with the formality? Formality is appropriate when asking for time off. Uh, what? You think LCL is visiting his home? I, I don't know about that. I've not heard about him returning to Ente Isla. I know it's unexpected, but LCL himself said he wanted time off for something. Well, there are lots of different types of vacations. Maybe he's just sick of being cramped inside that itty-bitty devil's castle all day. Yeah, I'd agree, but that wasn't the vibe I was getting at all. You want time off? But what for? Alas, I can't speak of it here. I see. Sorry, would you guys mind excusing us for the day? Ashia needs to talk to me about something. All right. I see what you mean. That seems more than a little suspicious to me, too. Miss Emeralda didn't know what was going on either? No, but just to be safe, I'm having her sniff around for anything happening in Inte Isla that seems like it might be out of the ordinary. <sighs> well, we won't get far in this. Do you think maybe... Do you think Mr. Mao might go back to Inte Isla now? I'm scared that... What if my dream is coming true? How come? What did you dream about? Oh, nothing really. You know, that's really weird. I had a kind of ominous dream myself. What? Are you serious? Don't you worry about it. I promise, Chiho, while I'm around, I'll never let anything sad happen to you. It's cool. <laughs> Mr. Mao, are you going to go home to Anta Isla after all? That's why you're taking 
don't work, right? Okay, but please don't tell me you're never coming back. Gee, I already said I don't have enough magic. So then, why did you get time off? Because... I'm sorry. I can't tell you why. Mr. Mal... He's definitely up to something. Our only choice is to find out the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's tail him. fast so we could pay off a couple of tracking devices. Tracking devices? Urshi Hara bought them online and then decided to hide one tracker in your purse and the other one in Susan O's sandals. How dare he! Stop! This is not the place to whip out your sacred sword! And remember, they did help when Sariel kidnapped you, so don't be so mad. debit our account for those next week. And right now, we're completely broke. I won't get my Magars check until after they charge me. So then, Ashia decided he wanted to get one of those temp jobs that would pay him by the day. Oh, so that's why he asked for time off. Of course. I took time off my job to temp with him so I could help him out in case things got dicey. But it looks like the agency sent Ashia to work somewhere else. If that's all it was, why'd you feel the need to hide it from Chiho? Well, you see... Because I was worried if I told her about it, she'd wind up feeling responsible since the trackers were working to pay for are what helped me rescue her. So, I'm sorry, Chi. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're not planning to go back to Anta Isla or anything. Okay, so then what's the deal with the truckload of boxes you had delivered to your house? What? What boxes? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what boxes? I have no idea what you're talking about. Give me a break, guys. All this stuff has been here since before I moved in. We both know that's not the truth, you liar. Now get out of my way. <laughs> Feather beds. Fire extinguishers. Water purifiers. And there's so many of them. Rushihara, what is all of this? No, it's a funny story, actually. I did some online research, and apparently what happened is called a buy-up scam. This sounds expensive. Yeah, see, someone knocks on your door and offers to buy your stuff, but instead they wind up pressuring you into buying a bunch of their crap. Well, on a positive note, he did buy the external hard drive from me. Then he kind of made me buy all that. How much? So How much so did it cost? A lot? Like what you make in a month? <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems you fell victim to a very underhanded salesperson. He fell victim? More like nosedive. I can't help it. I'm socially awkward. Mal, torturing the poor idiot at this point won't accomplish anything. This is the company, isn't it? Deluxe Life International Holdings. What? That doesn't even sound like a real name. Why not give them a call? Hello. Thank you for calling Deluxe Life International Holdings. How may I assist you this afternoon? Yeah, the other day a door-to-door -door salesman sold us feather beds, fire extinguishers, and water purifiers. We're not gonna use those, so we'd like to return them, please. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but we run tests on the water purifiers when we install them to make sure they work. Since they're essentially used items, we cannot accept them as returns. Well, we haven't used the 20 years worth of filters that came with them, so you can take those back. Unfortunately, they do come as a set with the purifiers. We're unable to refund just the filters. 
As for the fire extinguishers, they've already been installed as well, which means under the Fire Service Act safety guidelines, it's illegal for us to take them back, even though they may be unused. <sighs> what about the feather beds, then? We accept returns for those, as long as they're completely unused also. That was a set of seven, correct? No, not correct. It's a set of five. I'm afraid our company only sells sets of seven. We can't accept any sets that are short parts, so I'm sorry, but... Just forget it! Let me guess, they have no intention of taking anything back, right? So, what are you gonna do? Go there in person? Go there in person. This is it. Coming. Uh oh, Ashia! Your Majesty! And Amelia, too! What brings you here? This is seriously where the tip agency sent you to work? Now I know why that voice seems so familiar. Let's get to the point. What's your deal? I don't have a deal. I'm just following the procedure for handling unreasonable demands for returns. Wait, hold on a second! Why on earth did he buy seven feather beds? I told you he was swindled! And it wasn't seven, it was five! Oh dear, that sounds like a scam if you ask because me. Because it is a scam, which is what I've been trying to say! But what you're really trying to say is I've been sent to this company to practice fraudulent business dealings and unwittingly acted as an agent of evil in the process! Are you or are you not a big-time demon generalissimo? Now that I am aware of the truth, I cannot remain here and dishonor myself with this association any longer. Why are we yelling? No, uh, sir, you're here. Do we have a problem? Yeah, you're the jerk in charge, huh? No, we don't have to be rude. Why don't we talk this over calmly instead? I'm sure this was explained over the phone, sir, but you can find the same info on the provisions of the signed contract. What do you mean, provisions? I've never seen this contract. Oh? Well, you received a copy. Huh? I really must ask you to follow the rules. Who's my left foot? This whole thing is a scam! All participants fully consented to the arrangement. Consented? Consented? Who'd be dumb enough to buy seven feather beds for one tiny apartment? Someone who lives with you. You bastard! You're being smug because you think we can't do anything about this! I didn't sell any defective merchandise, so you've got no reason or right to complain. Again, we have a legally binding contract. Though I don't mind settling this outside. <sighs> We've lost. Perhaps the best course of action would be to consult the police. Nah, you can't rely on cops to take care of this. Sure, he's crooked, but there's still a contract, and we have no proof it was a scam. So basically, there is nothing to be done. Damn it, how are we ever gonna get all the money together to pay for that crap? My apologies, sire. I do believe I'm partly to blame. After all, I've been remiss in my duties as his guardian. His guardian? Hold up a sec, you guys. How old is Arushihara again? Huh? huh? And not as into Isla age. I mean, here in this world. Oh. Well, let's see. I'm pretty sure I made him 18 on all the official records. In that case, I think I know a trick that should help you demons out. Help us? You mean is it not having to fork over money we don't have? Tell us this trick of yours, wench! It's called cooling off. A Guardian's consent is required for any contract signed by a person under the age of 20. That is, unless the contract is for less than their allowance. Mr. Mao, the good news is you're Mr. Urushihara's recognized Guardian. So the cooling off rule applies in this circumstance. Devil the devil. And we were saved by the hero Amelia, who would have thought. Well, she's used to return happy customers. Maybe one day we could get her over on our side. <laughs> Surely you jest, sire. And uh, I'm ready to order when you are. Cool, I'm gonna have what you're having. Excuse us! Two cat's dooms, please! <laughs> <laughs> 